Mark, like a deer in the headlights, welcomes you in. <laughs> <laughs> what? You tap the microphone. And it sounds like you're tapping a drum when you hit that thing. But no one can hear it but you. Two flat earth and other hot potatoes. Hello. This is episode 188, and it's actually show eight which I'll explain in a moment. Those of you who like working with numbers will know exactly what I mean. But uh, this show with Mark Sargent and I is going to be about you. Yeah, your viewpoint, your vote, your input on who should win the Flatty Awards. We've got 30 categories and we're gonna get right to that and rely upon you in the live chat. So hi, welcome in the live chat. As people start filtering in, uh, we're gonna just do a little bit of I don't know, pre-show chat here. Yeah, it's an eight show because it's show 188. And if you add eight and eight is 16, six and one is seven. And then seven and one is eight. Yeah, right? Wait, what are you trying to work out? Well, okay. The, eight and eight the is gematria 16, of this show? Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, so it's one, It's 188? 188. Uh, well, the easier way is just to go 17, eight and eight and one, which is 17. But seven and one is eight. Seven and one is eight. Yeah. There you go. 188 doesn't really do much for me. Now, if it was one eight eight eight, that's a whole nother thing. Right. But we won't get well, it. Well, that's, uh, hopefully, hey, hopefully the whole world will be flat by the time we're going to get. That there you go. Shows. <laughs> well, we won't have channels anymore. It'll be like. The reminiscing the globe channels will all that will be left. So before we get into the categories, real quick, uh, I'd just like to say that I got a letter from Australia. You probably recognize this mm -hmm. because they sent me because this one was actually sent in an envelope, not a yes. postcard. Yes, hidden in plain sight because that way the sticker didn't show up on it. Yes, I showed one from amanda a couple of shows ago and they put a sticker right on the part which had one of her captions on it right. and i am going to be interviewing amanda uh here's some she sent me right uh on friday so you'll know it when you see it she's so, really amazing so thank um, you to amanda for that she makes flat cat postcards and um she's got three cats she's a member of the three cat club which is just something I made up for people who have three cats. And you can get her postcards on Zazzle. Oops, they're sideways. There they are. And the one you showed and a whole lot more. Cool. So, well, should we go into the live chat and see what's going on? Uh, yes. What was that? Yes. Well, because I'm looking, at, I'm, I'm looking at group chat, but I don't see anybody yet. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking, I'm looking at our group chat. <laughs> Duh. That's so rookie. Cannot believe That's I even did rookie that. move and you wouldn't You hate to see it. it. Oh, my God. Uh, so go, why is there nothing in chat? Well, because you're looking in the wrong chat. There's nothing chat. in chat that Dumb means we wouldn't be on the air. So. Oh, man. That is sad. You are. You it's are. totally hate to. All right. So I got to click on live. Oh. I got to find this thing. Mm -hmm. I'll just wait right here. What did you use as the thumbnail? Is, I that used... a, is that a scantily clad woman sitting on the edge of an expensive car? No, she's not scantily clad. She's wearing a full evening gown and she's at some kind of an award ceremony, a.k.a. the Flatty Awards. Someone's ushering her out of a car. So it's kind Got of it. award show-ish, but she's definitely wearing a dress. But like what I'm wearing, it's black lacy stuff or see-throughy stuff. So it may appear to the untrained eye to be nakedness, but it's not. All right. I'll take a look for it. Yeah. Oh, Ginger Sugarbush has a backup account called Geocentric Ginger B Flats. Just wanting to let everybody know that he is in our live chat. We're going to make him a moderator because he's been a moderator before as Ginger Sugarbush. It's always nice to have a backup channel. I want to say hello to everyone. Uh, Martin Liedke says red carpet. Yeah, pretty much. They took our jobs is in here saying, yo, Niem Yet Niet said it's 8 22 a.m thursday here in new south wales australia so good morning nathan oakley says the car is an s-class that the woman on the thumbnail is getting out of that's not too bad not too shabby doug nordling as well and tony yesk uh demure de campagne says i know i said that wrong in french says bonjour wish i could speak french zulu one as well big rolio daniel reza uh daniel's talking about ditrh's drone called r2 ditrh2 <laughs> oh, 
Right. Who's your flatty says that the best haircut trophy will go to you, Mark Sargent. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's really great. So glad. Yeah. Thank you. Tiffany Russell as well here in our live chat and Ridgeview. And uh, there's somebody named P900 Cool Picks. I mean, you might as well name yourself after the flat earth camera. <laughs> if you need a, if you need a YouTube name, that ought to work. Uh, let's see, Carl Steinbeck and Carly Sunshine. Carly says, I have some videos I'm proud of, but I'm not nominating myself. She said she loves DITRH's work. Yeah, DITRH should be getting an award, I think. I think. But it's but, not up to me. It's not really up to you either. No, no, it's not. We're the mere bearers of the good or bad news. Exactly. <laughs> so We're just the messenger. The messenger. <laughs> don't kill us. But we won't know what the actual message is until the conference and the second day of the conference uh, and the last event in the conference, which is going on in Raleigh, North Carolina, if you're not aware of it. And right. that's uh, November 9th and 10th. It'll be on the 10th. That's when the Flatty Awards will be presented. So we've got our lists because in a previous show, quite a ways back, we asked you to tell us what categories would be good. And we got a lot of input from you and kind of put it all together and um, compiled a couple together that really were about the same thing and came up with 30 different categories. So there will be 30 awards. And this year, as opposed to our very first Flatty Award, where we had an award that was, uh, I don't know, just one I held up for the camera, but nobody really received, every winner will be receiving an actual award, although we don't know what it's going to look like yet. Right. So that'll be pretty cool. Yes, I agree. All right, should we so, start off with the first one? Let, let, let's let you start it off. Since I all right, the so talking. the first category, and again, type in which candidate. Don't put in links unless you think that Patricia and I are going to click on them. Put in the title of the video and the artist, if you can. So say X video by blah, 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 if you can. Okay. So first category is going to be best flat earth proof experiment. Now, to me, best flat earth proof experiment is a hard one without going through lots and lots. Of, it, not one thing comes to my mind. What about you? I, I would go probably with either a balloon test or a horizon test, one of those right. two. So whoever's got the best, again, it's just my opinion, but either the best long distance horizon test video or it can be a compilation video or a balloon test video. That, that'd be what I'd use. So, All right. so that's number one. We'll just refer to it as number one. So right. you can actually put number one, even in a half hour, you can write I number one put. and then best flat earth proof experiment <laughs> right. in there if you want. So number one, number two, best, number two, best short, short video. video. And that I think is a video under 10 minutes long. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Best short video under 10 minutes. Right. I'll write that in there. So that's under it. 10 minutes. A short video under 10 minutes. And then number three is going to be best video under 60 minutes. All right. And but you can't guess what number four is going to be. Mm, best video uh, that's Over. full length. Yeah. Well, best video over 60 minutes. Right. So any long form video, doesn't yeah. matter how long, yeah. over I mean, 60 could, minutes. We're, you know, there's no cap on that. So if you think the best video is five hours long, by all means. With people falling asleep and then waking yeah. up and getting drunk. Covered in popcorn and stuff. Fighting. Exactly. <laughs> We've seen those videos. We've all seen them. Some of us have been involved in those videos. Uh, number five is going to be best, and we're not exactly presenting them in this order, but this is just for the nominations. Right, best, right. Number five is best street interview. All right, best street interview. Now, best street interview, you could say, let's just make up a channel name. Uh, all the blinking lights are on. Let's just say that's the channel number, and it's run by Joe Schmo. Mm -hmm. um, you could either, you, you'd probably need to give us the name of the person and the name of the video if you can in that sort of case right not just the name of the person but we could have made a best street interviewer and we'll we'll put this list up on the uh, in the comments of this actual yes. work on as well because this is going to take i mean we're not going to figure it out here we just want your input we're yeah. going to figure this out over some time so. yeah this is, yeah, this is a lot of info here to process um let's see that here number, number six number 
Number six is best video series. Mm. It doesn't have to be ongoing, but uh, I would imagine a series is uh, four or more. Right, right. I know exactly what you mean. So longer than a trilogy, shorter than Roots. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The next one is uh, one that most of us can probably have somebody pop into our head right away because it's an individual person. Best newcomer. Best right. Newcomer. Best newcomer. That's a good one. So. That's number seven. That's number seven. Number eight is best globe versus flat earth debate. Okay. And that can be, you know, uh, how whatever means you use for that production. I do want to let people know that at uh, the International Flat Earth Conference in November in Raleigh, people are going to win who aren't there. And that doesn't matter. They don't have to be present to win. Absolutely, because I am taking those people's trophies straight to the pawn shop. <laughs> exactly. Because but, they will, because I, I hear they're actually made out of 10 karat gold. Really? That's the rumor. I, I cannot confirm that. I know Robbie's sitting there going, no, no, what? it's no. not. <laughs> It is not made of, which, which begs the question, and you guys can look this up, is one of those questions that follows kids, which is, are gold, silver, and bronze medals in the Olympics actually made entirely out of those medals? Ooh, do you know the answer to that? The answer is no. I was going to say it was not. Because <laughs> especially with the price of gold nowadays, oh my God. They should yeah. be, though. Well, they should be, but I mean, what, if when it was pushing, what, $1,500 an ounce for gold, whereas silver is... It's not even 20 bucks an ounce right now. What's the Grammy statue made out of? Oh, that's mostly lead and a lead alloy. It's really heavy, but it's gold, but it is gold. It is gold plated. A lot of celebs say things like, oh, I just keep mine in the bathroom, the spare bathroom. Do yeah. they really? They're just trying to be cool. Yeah. All right. So uh, number nine is best flat earth introductory video. Meaning the best video you would recommend to somebody who's brand new to this, who's brand new to this, the subject. So that's best, a very important category. Best intro video. And that is, that is a, that's a tough one because there's a lot of good videos yes. out there. And some of them are short and some of them are long. So we have to be careful not to nominate one of those in the best short or best long category. So for we want your help because this is actually kind of confusing. We're going to have to figure it all out. Um, the last time we did a show on the Flatty Awards, when we were getting the categories together, I don't know how many categories you guys ended up giving us, but it was a lot more than 30. And we had to go through the process of talking it over and coming up with what we've got here. And it'll be the same, but even more hard with this. So more hard, really? more hard, more hardest. No, sorry. Bad use of the English language. 1980s porn films. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> No, no, it's fine. You want to go down that road. Uh, that was number nine. nine. Number 10 is worst NASA mistake. Meaning what NASA footage or blunder is out I've got, there. I've got, the, I've got the winner right now. Here it yeah. is. Opening NASA. <laughs> really? The <laughs> ribbon cutting ceremony on NASA? Exactly. Deciding to have a a group called NASA. Nice. Cool. Um, see, if they didn't do that, then, you know, well, we wouldn't have a show. So, uh, Best Dome video is number 11. Best and there's dome. a reason for that. And that is because, as you know, there are two standing... Or, or, or Well, I know. But the, the two most popular theories are dome versus no dome. Right. And so dome versus infinite plane. So while there is a Best Dome video, which is number 11, number 12 is best infinite plane video. So we're not singling anybody out. Exactly. We're not going to play favorites. I mean, I will. You will. I, think, I think you should be nominated for just about everything. Yeah. Check will be in the mail on that. What? <laughs> I'm Don't wait by your mailbox. I am contractually <laughs> obligated to say things like that every 10 minutes. No. Um, this is a really good one. Best flat earth chat room. That's number 13. Right. And so by best flat earth chat room, what does it mean to you? The best could be the one where trolls are allowed to roam free and say whatever they want. Or, or free. Very um, 
and people are more on the lighter side or the the the, the, only, the chat or... room that gives you the best warm fuzzies when you yeah. walk out of there when you're at when you leave the chat room you're going you know what that was a cool chat room to be with right yes sort exactly. of like like leaving a perfect party yes you know it's like yeah it was good but then it's like well ah, but somebody fell off the balcony and broke his neck and there was a whole bunch of people doing drugs in that room and i don't even know i know what was going on in that other room there was just lots of naked happening there and Isn't that why it was good, though? <laughs> if you were in it, but what if you weren't in that room? Then you're like, oh, man. Anyway, so, yeah, best That's best flyer of the chat room. Number yeah. 14, best hangout. That's going to be a tough one. Ooh, Who actually had the best mean? hangout? Best hangout. Well, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean like continuing hangout. What was the best hangout you were ever in? Who was responsible for it? And if you want to consider it a body of work. Say this person had five or six great hangouts in a row. Mm -hmm. Oh, for your best hangout. That's number 14. And you know, you can nominate people and channels that are no longer here, I would imagine, right? That is what true. What about Free Chan? I mean, we're talking about best hangouts. A lot of people enjoyed being in Free Chan hangouts. If you did, and that's, you're, well, they're not around anymore. Even if a lot of the people are, you could nominate that. I don't know who will give the award to, but it really is only fair. I can see somebody's already sucking up to you. F E F E O H P best chat. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I do think that the people who are in this chat are really cool. And <laughs> I'm not just saying that because you're here, but for the most <laughs> part, everybody's nice. Sorry, that reminds me too much of the and smart um, and does good flat earth work or supports you know, people who do. It so, reminds me of that entertainer's line that they always use. Out of all the audiences I've ever had, <laughs> you guys. You guys absolutely, absolutely rock. rock. Yeah, absolutely Hello, rock. Oh, Cleveland. Oh, wait, exactly. Cleveland? <laughs> We're in Cincinnati. Oh, the, I meant Cincinnati. Sorry. No, my manager. The um, <laughs> no, my favorite is actually every once in a while you'll get an airline steward who is is funnier than most. You know, they've been doing it long enough. Mm -hmm. And this one guy, he had his he had his his stuff down. And he goes, he goes, on behalf of United Airlines. I'd like to like to say that of all the passengers we've had, you know, over you know, you you are the most recent. And then, <laughs> Good. I like it. And they need to leave. Good night, everybody. Or like great. of all the passengers we've ever had, you, uh, you, we won't remember any more than all the others. <laughs> pretty much. You are by far the least relevant. <laughs> the okay, so that was let's see, best hangout. Okay, number fifteen. So number fourteen is best hangout. I've already numbered all, all of them by now. Yeah, me too. The um, number 15 is best moderator. Ah, interesting. Who, who now, is the best chat moderator? Now, that doesn't play fair with the chat rooms that don't have moderators, but most do, so that'll work. Best moderator. Best oh, this moderator. is a good one. Number 16. Best channel name. Best mm. channel name. That's channel name. Because channel names actually, you, you think, well, that's not a very important one. Ooh, it is. Because yeah. channel names go a long way, just like real names. Well, a lot of people who do great work, their channel name is their name. So right. although that's a really good name for them, I don't know if that's going to win a category unless their name is used as a play in, on things involving what we're studying and, and sharing. And I can think of a couple channel names, their name and their channel name kind of work in both of those ways. Right. And, and honestly, that's no different than celebrity names, you know, celeb actors and actresses constantly, you know, uh, change the name when they go into the business and some don't and they pay for it. I mean, if you have a lot of talents like Engelbert Humperdinck, right? One of the worst names ever. Yes, but you remember it. You do remember it. Or like Ernest Borgnine. Mm, that's kind of... What a good character actor. Well, on a much tinier scale, when I was in radio, I started working for my father, and the company was called Steer Broadcasting Corporation. And mm -hmm. he said, well, we don't want people who are listening to the DJs think there's nepotism involved, so you can't go by Patty, which is what I used to go by when I was really young, you can't go by Patty Steer. You have to pick up another name. And there was a newspaper laying nearby, and it was Marcus Dupree, a football player who was in the news. And I said, Dupree, Pat Dupree, that's the name I came up with, one of my many radio names. Yeah. And it wasn't a particularly good name, but it's the name I had along with 
Shannon O'Shea and Chelsea Donovan and Francesca Vox. Uh, the Francesca Vox name, Vox meaning voice, um, those names in general are way easier to remember than Patricia Steer. When, if you say that one fast enough, it comes out like Rishishashir, which isn't good. And Steer being a uh, castrated bull, not the best visual. But when I started in Flat Earth, I used my real name because this is all about truth. It's not about having a memorable name. So, hmm. yeah, having the last name Steer. Not the best, but that's the one I've got. I, you know, because I was thinking uh, uh, Kelly Steele would be good. I know you, you, you know that Steele's used a lot, and yes. Stephanie. But I was thinking Stephanie Steele. Stephanie Steele. Yeah, exactly. But you can't. But Kel, Kelly Steele's better because it's yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, having a fake name when you're just a disembodied voice that nobody sees on radio is is fine. But when you're talking about truth, if you use your real name, it does. I'm not saying it's a necessary thing. It does help in some way. But right. the thing I found out is if you use your real name, people will just say it's a fake name anyway. So there you go. You can't wait. Um, all right. Number 17. Well, this is, is a fun one. Is best flat earth studio. Meaning who's got the best rigs? Who's, who's got the best setup? And it doesn't have to be mechanical. What, you know, yeah, just the background. Whatever's behind the background. someone. Exactly. It can be flat earth related. It doesn't have to be flat earth related. No. It can be funky or cool or weird or a shambles. Yeah, it could be a, a shed surrounded by pitchforks and machetes. You know? I think I know a couple of people who have backgrounds like that. And it becomes their signature. Which it is, does. Yeah, love it. it. No, uh, here's this one. <laughs> number 18, which yeah. is? Point, counterpoint, worst flat earth studio. Yeah, who's got Yeah, which is weird because the most loved may also be the most hated. Right. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, who's got the absolute worst FE studio? And I can almost guarantee you, whoever it is has terrible lighting. Lighting yes. is key. Well, remember Tiger Dan when I interviewed him oh, for episode 13? Unlucky where, 13. Where, yeah, where he was broadcasting <laughs> from an interrogation room in the gulag. Yeah. Right. And we also look like what I would imagine a submarine, if you were on board it, would look like when you're very deep in the ocean. Right. So it, the lighting Losing was all power. dark and green. And before we went live, when he, you know, clicked into the, the Google Hangout and we talked pre-show, it was dark as can be. And there he was with the baseball hat, like shading his face. And it was quite dark. And he was in, he was in a corner, like backed into a literal corner. Oh, my God. It, it reminded me of in those movie, those obscure movie scenes where it's like when, when you have, a, uh, you know, someone – in the room right against his will yes. and the and the, the bad guys are going how's our hostage doing you click on the video screen and he's like <laughs> you know and, and it's like it's like all right he's good. but we we did make an improvement i asked him to drag over a table lamp so he put a table lamp on the table in front of him that shone some extra light on him if i hadn't done that it really would have been nightmarish so but it was a really good interview if you've not seen the title uh, it was a good interview and his last interview, interview. So yes. nice, nice. Yes. No, Steph. it's good that you could pin down his location so that we could, you know, take care of that. Biggest flat earth mystery, I would say. If there was a category for biggest flat earth mystery, that would be the one. But there isn't, so. The uh, number 19 is best flat earth meetup organizer. That's a good one and a very important one lately. Right. So whoever is doing the best flat earth meetup, as far as organizing them, doesn't have to be sheer number of people that show up. Right. Who's, who's the best flat earth meetup organizer? And they may have only done one, but it was That's superior right. to the other ones for some reason. That's up to you who is doing the voting. That's right. number 19. Okay. Number 20, best flat earth billboard organizer. Not to be confused with Bill Bobaggins. Exactly. The, yeah, that should be good too, because there's been quite a few billboards out there and maybe more to come before the conference so now i think that just like the big time award shows the grammys etc that somebody can win in more than one category do you agree with me since we're yes. making oh yeah 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 you can win in more than one category right. sure okay. so don't uh, be afraid to nominate it's, the same it's, person it's, twice yeah this isn't like other awards things where you can't wait like like um i mean heck they do it in high school you can win more than one category in high school so yes. 
Did you ever win anything in high school? No, mostly because I was much younger than the kids around me. And because the of the way your birthday falls or because you were. Because, yeah, because I was bumped up as well and where my birthday falls. So literally, let's put it this way. You're not going to win any awards when you cannot physically drive until the second, the last semester of your senior year. Yeah, you could win the award like most left out of all the fun. <laughs> Is it was embarrassing. I mean, it's literally they could not even I couldn't even drive a car. But they couldn't uh, nominate you because they wouldn't know your name. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So uh the, no, there was up until that year, normally you, you know in high school you'd get most gullible. Yes. Usually that was one of, I would have had that category been in our class, I would have gotten it. You you probably, from what I've heard you say, didn't believe that people could actually lie to you, people yeah. in authority. No, I was like, I was, anything somebody said to me, it's like, really? Uh, no idea that people would lie. So yeah, and I would have been the most gullible. Welcome to Conspiracy World. <laughs> I didn't make homecoming courts and I didn't get, you know, most likely be on a desert island with and all that other mm. fun stuff. That's fine. Did you uh, win any? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. Did I take a guess on, was it the desert island one? No, we didn't have most, that one. Most fashionable? No, I won homecoming court and then oh, we okay. moved from Florida to Michigan. So I was not unable to be homecoming queen. Not that I would have been, but yeah, it helps. Usually if you it works like that. It helps if you stay. Yeah. New kids rarely. I mean, yeah, you can get on the court, but you're not going to win. I mean, you've yeah. got to anyway. Uh, let's and see. All of that's stupid and unimportant. And uh, even when it happened, I was excited and pleased. But yet I wasn't one of the, I wasn't a cheerleader. I was. A combination between very social and friendly and kind of friendly with all the nerds too mm. if that makes any sense so you're kind of a click a click jumper i just liked all sorts of people from all sorts of clicks kind of the way i am in flat earth now mm. sort of the so, molly ringwald character in uh, maybe a little bit yes mm. even the red hair uh, but i can't do that lipstick trick she did and i also never understood the lipstick trick she did in the uh, nobody movie. does that trick that's a hollywood trick they just right, made up. i don't understand it or what's why would you even to, do it yeah what's it supposed to signify it's not other than you have a little cleavage i suppose right anyway uh number 21 is best video trailer okay some people aren't aren't familiar with what that would mean like. so if your video is you know, I wonder if we, I'm wondering if we should modify that. Is normally it would be the best video, you know, like, like in every, every movie, every full length movie has some sort of trailer to introduce you I to see. the movie. Right. That's what it should be. So that so, it comes out before the grand event. Right. So okay. don't, yeah. So don't think it's a channel trailer because lots of channel trailers, are just normal videos. So today we put out a trailer for this show. Right. That would not that that's going to win anything. Uh, it was okay though. We, we <laughs> I don't didn't mean even to use graphics. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was just join us because we're doing this nominations thing and we want you to participate. So right. it's something that they put you put out that's going to tell you what's coming up. And a lot yeah. of people who have done documentaries or things like that have put out channel trailers. So best video trailer number twenty one. Ooh. Number 22, best P900 footage. Right. Really an excellent one. And that's going to take some combing through. And that guy or girl may actually be tied to, depending on how it goes, may be tied to the best Flat Earth Proof video. I have Maybe. a suggestion, even what? if you, why don't we make it best P900 or other camera footage? Because there's people who don't have P900s, but have cameras that are really good and they've come up with some amazing things. I don't you know want to leave. I don't want to. I like this. Out. I like this idea. I'm proud to be a part of it. The uh, we're going to sign off on this idea. Yes. All right. We don't have to put it through committee. Well, we are the committee. We're just going to call it best camera footage. Best camera footage it is. Even because we're not officially endorsing the Nikon P900 at better retailers right now. And Amazon. I'm just saying Remember that. Remember when it was sold out and nobody could get one? Right. Right. Um, Number well, this 23. Is, this is a good one. Best Flat Earth Meetup video. Right. Post, post Meetup. Yes. 
I can think of one right now I really liked. I can't Did you? say, but yes, best were part you, of the meetup video. Because I don't think. No, no, no. It wasn't mine. And I'm not going to nominate myself. No, no, no. I mean, were you actually in the footage? No, not at all. Oh. That doesn't mean that no videos I were. That's a, that's a. No, no. I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. No, I'm just thinking of one I saw recently and felt really happy after I saw it. But to me, that's what makes it the best for me. Maybe to another person, the best flat earth uh, meetup video would be where, I don't know, there is a confrontation between a ball earther and a flat earther. That could make a good nomination too. And there is a video like that actually out there. All right, we've got six more. Uh, 24 is going to be fastest growing channel. I love this one. I love this one. So from zero to whatever they are going to be, well, we'll stop the counter probably at the end of next month. Mm -hmm. That's what whoever it's going to be. Now, some people will say, well, yeah, but maybe that channel bought subs. It's kind of easy to tell whether somebody bought subs. You can see what they are. We can live check. Live In fact, you can check too. Tell them how, Patricia. Socialblade.com will give you the previous month or the current month, the past 30 days, and you'll be able to see how many subscribers they got and then how many video views they got. Now, that's not 100% uh, the way you determine it. You can also go into a live chat and see if they've got, uh, I don't know, let's just make up a random number. Um, 8,000 subscribers, and in a live video, they only have 60 people. Right. So maybe there could be something wrong. Then you have to look at their video views overall and their channel, and then the comments. Although some people clear up their comments, I certainly take out anything mean or nasty. Um, so there's, you have to use your judgment. Right. All of us know that we've seen channels that make huge jumps. They didn't put out anything spectacular and they gained 500 subs. Uh, that just is weird. Um, none of the big, big, big channels, I think, ever like Eric Dubay or Jaren or et cetera, Rob come Skiba. 500, Rob Skiba, come generally with 500 subs a month. That's a bit, especially that number 500, you know, not yeah. 501. Yeah, if it's an even number, yes. But then, if you, but then somebody could buy subs and they buy, let's say they buy, 450 and then the real subs add on top of that and it could add up to 500 things happen right. uh, i'm just picking these numbers randomly of course when so, in doubt social blade ask social for blade. it by name it does help you and i'm not saying that you should use that to, only to look at people who bought subs there's other reasons to look at it you can look at your own stats very easily and sure. channels that you're friends with just to see how they're doing um yeah. and it's just interesting it's an interesting study into flat earth Number 25 is different than number 21, which is why it's a little further down the list. In fact, we may bump them up next to each other before it's over. And that is best channel intro and or animation. So whatever you're using to hype up your channel, some people do, some people don't. Mm -hmm. you know, some people it's a flashy blah, blah, blah. So other people, not as much. Uh, so it, it really depends what, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't have any channel intros, but I have had people make me um, songs and videos to play uh, opening up my show. And I, I did a little bit when I first started out, but well, uh, I, I do like a good channel intro. What I mean, technically, the channel intro, you well, you know what? You're right. I mean, you could put one in there if you really wanted to. But most of my videos are like this live. So that's true. That's the true. channel intro is, hi, welcome to the show. Here's my guest or here's Mark Sargent. All right, now to the music section. There's going to be four music awards. Oh, we forgot one. What? No, right below best channel intro animation, didn't we? Mm, not on my list. Oh. What do you got? The Tiger Dan Award. No, no, that's the, that's the number thirty. That's the last award. Right. I bumped. I, I bumped oh, that. I, bu I bumped that all the way to the bottom. All right. I'll put so a I've got, here. so for me, I've got, and I'll send you this list. Yeah. For me, I've got songs, the two songs. Okay, and well, then, you, you read then because I've got maybe an older version of what we've been working on. Oh, okay. So the four music awards are going to be, there's going to be two under song and then the best male and female. So the two song ones, there's going to be best cover. So the best cover of an existing song, like a perfect example would be, I'm not saying they're going to win, would be the um, Rolling Stones Painted Black, which was turned into a Flat Earth song. 
Okay, got it. That, that sort of thing. Uh, and then number 27 is a best comedic song. So not necessarily a cover because there's not that many. I mean, it's got to be generally an original, funny, comedy, flatter three related song. See, I think we need one more, and I, we we can only have thirty. But let me throw it out there, since this is something we're working on all together. Those in chat, right. those watching right. later, you and I, it seems like we just have to have a general flat Earth song. So somebody who's not doing a cover or something comedic. Well, no, that's can that's what. But, but that's that's why we got into. That's why we did twenty eight and twenty nine, right. which are. The best because that those would be those whoever's going to win that is it's got the best general song. Yeah, but anyway. I still think that there could be somebody who would win a best general flat earth song. No, because because then else win the best male male. Yeah, because because then you're kind of and I, you know me, I'm not disagreeing with you again. Con contractual <laughs> things. God knows you wouldn't. <laughs> but <laughs> please don't turn me into anything unnatural. The. Um, uh, the, the It'd be so 20... good if we had CGI. There would be you would just be on a frog, on, <laughs> turning into a frog, and all we would see was Mark's hat, I'd, a frog ribbit. <laughs> I'd feel lucky if I was. That would be funny, actually. <laughs> or yeah, the frog popping out from underneath the hat. That'd be good. It'd be like uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou when they yes, turned yes. them all into frogs. By the way, are you drinking Tang again? Astronaut endorsed. What actually, about, it's a it's a about, split. It, All my good influence when you were here of organic juices and yeah, and I just... lost weight when I was there. Just so you know, <laughs> sorry, totally did. Uh, anyway, uh, the well, I'm is sorry. there anything from the no, 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 no. Here, here's we just here. had that we can kill and then make a bed? No, 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 because best general song is going to be won by one of these two people. All right, know, all right, and that's why we split them up into two because right. otherwise you're going to get into the problem which the academy awards did which is best director always won best picture always yes. for a number of years to the point where it's like well best director is such and such i'm not going to wait the extra 10 minutes to see who won best picture because i already know and then they decided they were going to mix that up when saving private ryan best director steven spielberg lost to shakespeare in love that year which got best picture and the abomination and the travesty escalated every year after that. So and that's why number 28 and number 29, respectively, are female vocalist and male vocalist. There Got you go. It. So, so best female vocalist is number 28, and number 29 is best male vocalist. That solves your general problem because, other, again, otherwise the best general song... Is, is you're going to have to have that one of those two people is going to get an additional award. You know what I mean? Makes sense. Makes this, sense. This way we're, we're not, we're not, you know, we're, there's so we're, much flat earth music, but then again, in every one of these categories, we could sit here and parse it and make it, you know, smaller and smaller in subgroups. And we don't, we have to have three 30. Oh my God. Somebody, only somebody already nominated time for the Sergeant song. <laughs> That's funny. Richard. Wow. Because that is one of the most cultish songs there is. And if this thing ever gets any bigger, I'm going to get no play on words here. It's headed crucified for that yes. one. <laughs> Here's something funny. Mr. Mood is in our chat. And I swear this is the truth. Everyone who's followed my channel from the beginning will know. Mr. Moot says the condemnation before investigation by Mr. Moot should win the vote hands down. But Mr. Moot should win an award for condemnation before investigation. Because that's what happened when he came on my channel and I interviewed him and he was wearing his full armor of God. Oh my gosh. Certain people went wild saying right. all I have on are people with costumes on. And that, as Mr. Moot told me many times, wasn't a costume. It was just his way of showing that his name and his physical appearance are moot. What's important is his message. Right. So if we did have an extra award, a condemnation without investigation award, I would give it right to Mr. Moot. And he's got a video by that name too. Okay. which is unrelated, but yet another funny award I thought would be best microphone because I'd win. <laughs> wow. Really? Well, insanity is sanity has the same microphone. My mic beats your mic. That ball you have to hold. My yeah, mic wins. But, okay. There's a couple things with this ball. One is I can do this and you can still hear me. And the other is it has to do that is the question. <laughs> Unless you're drunk and keeling over. Doctor, it hurts when I do this. <laughs> Well, you don't do that. Don't do that. 
The um, <laughs> it burns. Uh, and I'm sorry, number thirty. The last award is going to be the Tiger Dan Award, mm, as I mentioned is, earlier, yeah. Perpetual Achievement Award, which is going to be given, I believe, to the best disappearing act of that year. Right, and so. as we all know, uh, we do have people that are flat earthers that just disappear; their channel right. goes poof. Which so. is which is almost a guarantee that it will always be called the Tiger Dan Award, and no one will be able to accept the award because when they disappear, they're never going to show up at the award show. Right. So we only actually need to make twenty nine awards. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! I think I think that 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 award will be good. Although, yeah. The, oh, you mean 29 trophies? 29 trophies, exactly. Yeah, because, yeah, the, the <laughs> Tiger Dan Award will be, the inaugural we're, one will go to Tiger Dan. We're we're, uh, we're saving money for Robbie D right now, actually, cutting down one trophy's cost. Nathan Oakley says, I keep my mic out of frame because it looks like a penis. Nice. It's good. Yeah. Now, why you would get a penis-shaped microphone? Well, people have said my microphone... Um, is supposed to represent that it's a microphone i mean no but nathan's i think is actually a a, a dildo shaped penis hmm. I think. just imagine if they made a microphone like that and you know what they probably do sadly enough sure. um all right so let's go over funny, once again and there's some so other funny comments in here uh, charlotte says most loquacious flat earth apologist she nominates cathexis for that right uh Flat Earth Accord says, what about the best Flat Earth hip-hop track? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So much. Um, there's some other ones here that are pretty good. Um, most Judicious Flat Earther nomination, Issa Maholsky. Uh, Frank Bocchiccio says, the fastest at the point Flat Earth video under 10 seconds. There was a competition for a while where DITRH was battling against a few people trying to do the shortest flat earth video that got a point across i think he won oops but i accidentally he... banned somebody you did <laughs> oh, well. Who was yeah it? some guy that said that all flat earthers are pointless well that's not well, an accident you did it uh, on purpose and well i have power to, say, to you I, again i have to say have you ever I, banned anybody in a chat before have you oh my god i've before? banned i've banned lots of people i got banned. banned accidentally for the very first time in a chat I think it was Issa Mahal's, yes, it was Flat Earth Court. I'm like, hi, talking with people, and all of a sudden I was banned. And I was like banned or timed out for like 300 seconds. But of course, it was an accident, supposedly. Right. And everyone was very apologetic. But I got to know what it felt like. So, okay, so let me let me run down the list real quick for you guys. And then what we'll do is we will post the list, and we should probably start taking, start at least talking about nominees now. You know, as yes. far as so, the although I know the list is going to really help. You know, I wonder if I could. How much? How I only have two hundred characters in chat. Well, I think that's right. If we can direct chat and tell them what to do, now is the time since I've never done it before. Just well, I can I can cut next, and paste them. You just for the next few minutes, don't talk to each other, don't talk about anything else, and we're going to read a category, and then you write something, right. and then we're going to write it down. So is everybody in the chat? Has everyone got the news? That, my microphone is actually not in my hands. Oh, you know, Frequencies Illuminated said it was not Flat Earth Court. It was Jibby Jedi's Hangout. That's right, Frequencies. That was the one. Good for me, Mark. What Martin you... says that he banned David Weiss by accident and Bob, so it happens. Um, all right, so here we are. We are ready with no more conversation in the chat. Right. Don't talk about anything else. And here we go. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I'm just hoping everyone will be cool. It's like okay. when the teacher in school said, everyone put your pencils down. And most of the people did. So what school here we go. did you go to? Like, like uniforms and... No, remember when you would take a test and you had a timed test in school and they would say at the end of the time, put your pencils down, like an SAT test. So... Everyone had that. I heard rumors that back in the day, Quantico actually had a junior high school on base. <laughs> no, they had it. It was it was a, it was a, a college prep test, and you had to use a number two pencil to color in the little oval. But you are admitting to Quantico. What's Quantico? Oh, that's good. Seriously, that is <laughs> All so. All right. Awesome. See, now we're we're that's telling people not to talk about. <laughs> that's great. We now we're not supposed to be joking about these things. Right. Okay. So stuff. okay. Okay. Best. 
flat earth proof experiment yes it'll be number one and again we will post this list on in the description box i'm sorry not well maybe not in the description box but at least in the comments section of this video yes. after we're done it. best flat earth experiment does anyone have a specific person they want to nominate right now or a specific video right now for best flat earth proof experiments we are waiting somebody wrote hot oh, hashtag so quantico high school <laughs> nice that's actually would be a great t-shirt that's funny that is good um <laughs> flat earth experiment who had the best one what channel had the best flat earth experiment come on we can't nominate anybody what do you got out there um all right so best we... flat earth experiment <laughs> jared campanell all right it's a good one all right uh was it camera work i would imagine it was um jared. nathan oh, oakley says good times for all I'm going to write it down. Good times for all. Jaron. Uh, a couple people are saying the same thing. Oh, and a geocentric ginger bee flats uh, um, is ginger sugar bush. He said that water, ex excuse me, the experiment across the frozen lake. I forgot the name of that person. That's a good one. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, while I do this, I gotta, I'm going to make a copy of this. One okay, I'm trying to write them down before they disappear off the screen. Arwin says Crow777 for uh, the moon. He calls it the moon ripple. Crow777. But that's actually also photography. I don't know if that's an experiment. Okay. So good times for all. Jaron, Crow777. Rob Skiba. Oh my gosh, Rob Skibas was so good when he took the boat out. Well, which one? He had a boat and he had a balloon. This is true. He had multiple balloons. Jaron uses the later laser rectal thermometer. Yep. Rectal thermometer, you just said. What? Was is a... that one of your little <laughs> fallopian slips? Oh. Yeah, probably. Oh god. The um I don't know why I put up with this. <laughs> I really don't, actually. What? <laughs> You're going to be the straight man. Someone's got to be not Don't the say straight man. man and me in the same sentence because you're just feeding the... Oh, no, the I actually paranoia. didn't mean to say that. <laughs> by the meant... By the meant by, I meant straight hottie. Ew, I've always hated that term, although no one <sighs> called me a hottie. I'm too old for that. But... Straight, attractive female. Thanks. Getting okay. closer? All right. Yeah, better, better. Okay, uh, so... It's also an acronym for SAT. There we go. And bringing it all back to Quantico, aren't you? Um, let's yeah. see. Okay, DITRH, the ships and the PA900, DITRH is in that one. Yeah, put that there. Okay, uh, DITRH. Okay, I think we're, yep, yeah, yeah, just. Uh, like Marilyn Wiseby that. says, hello, Patricia and Babyface Mark, and hello, everyone. Babyface, really? Because. Um... You kind of are. Somebody once made it. A picture of you as the Gerber baby. It was cute. I'm a couple bus rides away from cute, but thank you so much for that. No, but you do. You have a nice face. Well, I'll take that as a compliment at my age. At any age. What? What's that? The thing is, is that at any age, if what? you care about your outward appearance, just try is to that be the best. Working? Try to be the best you you can be. With your fitness, <laughs> with your diets. What are you, an after school special? No, seriously, with <laughs> with improving your minds. It's not trying, about what's outside, it's what's inside. Trying to be a better person, be nicer, be kinder, be more tolerant. That's one that's sometimes hard. Hugs, not drugs. Stay in school, kids. Good night, everybody. <laughs> exactly. right. the, um, let's, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Let's do uh, best short video under 10 minutes. I already know. What Dr. Time. Zach. Nathan Oakley is mentioning Dr. Zach. Is that under Flat minutes? Earth Proof Experiment. I'm going to put that down too. You know, this piece of paper is soon to be just a bunch of scrawls that I'll never be able to read. So if you had a bigger monitor, you could type it. I bet oh, you so you are making fun of my computer, are computer. you? I could make fun of a lot of things, but I'm not going to because, again. Oh, he sounds mad. Who, me? Mm -hmm. No. Mad? <laughs> Sounds testy. No, you'll know when I. My, oh, my... you mean you could make fun of a lot of things in general. You don't mean specifically about me. Yeah, 
That's what I meant. All right, so <laughs> that's okay. So best short video under now it was Dr. Zach on just a best. Dr. Experiment? Zach was on Flat Earth Proof Experiment. Yes. Okay. All right, Dr. Zach. Okay, we're we're moving on, and we'll come back to these. If we have to. Best short video under ten minutes. Best short. Okay. I, yes, I know. Ditrh. Is there anybody else to make short videos? Like I think people. I think ODD had a great one under five minutes. You're, yeah, let's put sorry, yeah flat minutes. Earth in five minutes. I remember that one. So let's let's put DITRH because it's pretty sad. An ODD. An ODD. Who There's probably yeah. a lot of smaller channels that we're going to have to do some searching to see that have have Dan, many things. Dan in dimensions these noble gases is a good one, but that's not. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's under ten minutes. We're doing the ten minute one right now. Best vi best short videos under ten minutes that do deal with flat Earth. Think hard, guys. I know there's a lot of content out there. Yes. And I know it's hard right now, like, at, you know, Potter's at gunpoint. Clay. Come up with all these Potter's, answers. Potter's Clay, Lori Austin. Is that a short one? I think it is. Oh, the Potter's Clay. Yeah. Let's write that one down, too. Potter's Clay. Got it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Did. Nathan Oakley, I got ODDD. I'm sorry. Oh, did I have okay. ODDDD. Uh, yeah. FEA. Sorry. That's my programming. <laughs> Needs to do a di di diagnostic. The um, FEA got that. I make short videos, says be here and love. That's good. This is true. Zoe does make short videos. They're comedy videos, though. And we've got no category for comedy video, do we? Number one's arsed. Is what? That, that's bad, right? Wait, somebody that's said what? Number one's arsed. Oh, it, it's a UK slang for, I mean, ass. Ass, but. Something arsed might be something that's, I'll just say, messed up, kind of. Got it. Like shove it up my arse? That's yeah, maybe. Right. Not, I mean, I don't know. What? what? I'm just saying. All right. Uh, no, there's, there's no best comedy video, is there? No. But it this doesn't, that's, no, that's because we, we don't, we do not have. We li look. We only have thirty spots. Right, so. and it could be a short it or could be a, a short video. Yeah, if it's if it's or a good. Look, it's a comedy video, great. We can't break it up into comedy and drama, tragedy, and parody. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Best dramatic short fiction work. Best by... flat Earth breakup, or would it be worst flat Earth breakup? Why? What are you saying? <laughs> you and I haven't broken up. Well, we did oh. for a while, then we got back together. Uh, you know why? Because breaking up is hard to do. <laughs> But you know, name name cases, the artist, Neil Sedaka. Yep. But in some cases, breaking up is easy to do, totally easy. Yes, it is. Um. Okay. Uh, no, your head's already up there, Mark. Thank you. Are, Who's saying Fox, that? Fox? Really? Do you want me to like time you out? I think you should. Oh, it just happened. Oh, Fox, Fox, bye bye. Although yeah. I love foxes. We'll Not see if he comes guy. back with even more fury probably so, with, with like 50 sock accounts <laughs> so okay so let's move on to Look at uh, mark manning people go mark. i i know i timed him out i timed him out i want to see if he comes back in five minutes charlotte is saying best flat earth mustache earth pond <laughs> charlotte has the weirdest but funny categories coming up i like it Earth, Earth Pond's like, no, yeah. <laughs> we have not done, already done music and memes. We That's just a category right now. And again, you can, you can email me. In fact, why don't we just have people, if yeah, after this thing is over, us, too. us, just email us. We'll, we'll have the list up there with who you want nominated. You can either email them to missteer at gmail.com or yes. msergeant23 at comcast.net. You know what? I can't stop this in my mind. They say that breaking up is hard to do. Seriously. <laughs> I swear now I'm stuck. <sighs> See, I was surprised you could do the whole down, do, 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 down, down. No. Yeah. I never liked Neil Sadaka, but it was on the radio when I was growing up. And... He was an extremely talented writer. Yeah. And when your parents are driving, you're subjected to their music. And unless they're cool, there's not much you can do about it. Do you know he opened? I think I did some trivia for it. He opened for Captain and Tennille back in the day. And they fired him as the opening act, if I'm not mistaken, because he was stealing their thunder. You know, like you're not supposed really? to follow certain people. Right. And he was like, he was, he had a pretty big fan base. He's like going, oh yeah. So anyway, sorry. Is Neil Sedaka still alive? I believe he is. Define alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, best video under, just a best general video under six, 60 minutes. 
throw wow. out some huge category. That's I would that's say big, that's, that's the bulk of videos. That's out the there. bulk of videos is under sixty minutes. So if you got and and I'm sure there there's going to be quite a few in my short list that are from my short list. Like for right. example, I will already put in there. Uh, no, I won't because that's not one of them. Like ODDs in there, Sharonismans in there. I'm sure. Uh, Laura Austin says Muskrat Love. Oh my God, that song. That song for the worst. If anybody which, just which look was, it up on YouTube. I mean, I'd say don't look it up on YouTube. A song about muskrats falling in love. Now, why would that even have to exist? Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. There was yeah, a lot of cool. really bad songs. Copacabana, a really bad song. Why? You know, one of the, the most famous backup singers of all time. Do you know who she kind of like cut her teeth on? Well, on top of singing back. You said the name, but I didn't hear it. Tony Tennille. Oh, yeah. the, uh, she sung back up for the Beach Boys, and she also sung on freaking Pink Floyd. She tells a famous story like she went to a Pink Floyd concert, and somebody recognized her, and they go, what are you doing here? She goes, I'm on this album. And they go, no way. And they look in the back. You can, it's on the credits in the back, Tony Tennille. She had a good voice. So. She had a hell of a voice. And she played the keyboards. Quite a talent. And had a Bob haircut. Uh, and was she involved, married to the captain? Yeah. And did she call him the captain while then, they were in then he, moments? He, he they That's just broke up fairly recently because he started getting dementia and she just wasn't into it. Seriously, you leave somebody who gets dementia? Well, kind of no different than. Uh, I mean, Alzheimer's. what about till death do us part? What about taking care of the one who you love and you've been together for the good times for? Well, yeah. Well, the but, only good thing about it is if he had dementia, he wouldn't know that he'd been betrayed. They were a good couple for a long time. Who knows? I mean, look, look celebrity marriages, as you know, uh, are not the most solid in the world. Okay, so guys, best video under 60 minutes. Just throw me out. Throw me some stuff here. Okay. Best videos that, that you know, regular size videos, not magnum size. Also, you can send it to me on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, if you right. are a Flat Earth friend of mine on Facebook. <laughs> Patricia Steer is my Facebook page. There's two Patricia Steer Facebook pages tied to me. One has my cats on it. and uh, I've got some ideas for this. And then I've got my regular page. So Okay, so you know let's what? move on. Let's move on to the next one, and you guys can write in. I know we're overwhelming you. Yeah, the 60 Minutes one is just too yeah. hard because it's um, almost every video. Uh. The same thing probably applies to best full length video. Yes, exactly. A video with no limit in size, like yeah, I would put 60 in 60 um, minutes plus. Yeah, like here's a perfect example. Uh, oh, crap. Who's the guy that did some numerology? I keep, you know the name better than me. Uh, he told the joke about the guy sitting at the bar with all the different civilizations. Tell me more, tell me more. And then the flat earth, he goes, get the hell out of my bar. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to pull that one up. Ginger Sugarbush, under his new channel, is saying he would like to nominate All Meat and No Potatoes by ODD, and then sorry, Patricia. Now, isn't that a video where he has pictures of you and I in it and calls us shills? If I'm not mistaken. Um, That's very possible. Yeah. So, now that probably won't get nominated for anything, except category number 31. <laughs> Videos that were probably a huge mistake. So what I'm doing is I'm also pump. I'm I'm just opening up YouTube and got that screen going just to refresh my memory on a few things. We could have had a category for YouTube content providers who have apologized for things they've done. That would oh, be interesting. OK Go video get nominated. OK Go. Remember OK Go? They did the video where they were on the plane that went up. Marty leads. That's parabolic what maneuvers and. Many people use that in their videos. Okay. Got it. Sage Seal says, I think Fouquet Word should be nominated for something. Well, yes. He's, he's this uh, perfect flat earther. I mean, we all are, whatever. There's no such thing. But he's really nice, really calm, talks with everybody, isn't part of a clique, doesn't involve himself with drama. Also, he has great, informative, easy to understand proofs. And his videos are a joy to listen to and watch. Got it overall best in show for him if we had that category all right let's move on to and again we'll we'll come back to these best dilly gill uh dilly gill according to um nathan oakley is the one that used the okay go footage 
go. So write that down and I, that would be best. I'm not sure how long that one was. So, but write down Dilly Gill okay. and okay, go. Leslie Beckwith says the 200 proofs video is under an hour. So that could be best full, best video under 60 minutes. We'll write that one in. Okay. Um, and it was Marty Leeds, the, uh, the bar one. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the one I've, I've used for a long, a long time. But again, that's just a suggestion. It's over an hour, but it's just long enough. Okay, let's go to best, just get, you know, spitballing here, best yeah. street interview. All right. Anybody have something for best street interview? Let's I mean, I'm going to nominate I mean, two. Can I? I can nominate, right? Yeah, yeah you can. You can uh, Dell, Beyond yep. the Imaginary Curve, okay. and John Smith. And uh, authentic intent. Authentic intent. How are we going to pick? I don't know. There's others so as well. We'll just have to see what, who the, mo the, the the popular. Yeah. Who likes it most? All right. Who else does um, best street effort should be a good would be a good yes it is a good category. Uh, Math Powerland. <laughs> this is funny. David Blackson says the best video would be Math Powerland playing FEA. <laughs> When he put the wig thing on, right? That versus Eric Dubé playing me and you and others. F F E A also does street interviews, which are this is true. This is true. Uh, let's see here. Uh, anybody else as far as interviews? No, best nude flat earther. Don't know who that would be. I still have my shorts on. In that Maggie M is agreeing with Beyond the Imaginary Curve and John yep. Smith. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they took our job, says the best nude flat earther. <laughs> Has there been anybody who was somewhat scantily clad in a flat earth hangout? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there have been. But those, I mean, that's going to happen anyway. When if you people do are drunk and hour they're hangout, 24 hours or more. People, yeah, people are and, and do drugs while you're doing it. It's anything can happen. Yeah, true. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Inar Kusk. That would be like a documentary. That's that'd be actually you part mean of the like series. a documentary. It is that, a documentary. That's the next category. Okay, I think we've got we right now for the best street interviews so far. We've got Dell, John Smith, Authentic Intent, Math Powerland, FEA. Let's start with that. Math Powerland? Yeah, he did some street interviews with FEA. Right, but okay. I'm not saying it's bad no, no, or wrong. I'm, I'm putting him in there. I'm not saying but he's But against win. Dell and Authentic Intent and John I, I know, look. It's you, quite you, minimal. Look, I didn't write. But I it's good. You know, if you've done one street interview with one person, it's a win. So I, I, I not, take it back. I have not done street interviews. Yeah. So. There we go. Okay, let's move on to best. Oh, David Blackson said there was a nude flat earther who should win, which was IPS, proving that he's a man by taking his shirt off. <laughs> that was a good moment in flat earth. I, okay. Many of us will remember. I'll remember. Well, I have it in a special folder. Mm, I bet you do. Mo earmarked what? <laughs> I'd rather not say. Okay. Okay, so let's go on to best video series. And yes, for that, I might as well just open with the guy that just suggested Enar. Enar Kusk. E-I-N-A-R-K-U-U-S-K. E and for those hey, right. who don't know, he's back. He took some time off, and now he's back. And he asked me to take my interview with him off, and now I've put it back. So Best video series. Yes. Uh, oh, well, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to nom I'm going to nominate uh, uh, Flat Earth Smarts. Indeed, and uh, FEA has done a versus series that should be up there. FEA, yes, versus series. Versus what series. other series? What about Mount well, Garland well, uh, series of music? I'd like to see Mark win something. I would too, but because I'm going to be co-hosting the award show, I am automatically disqualified. I'll give you an award. Let's see what it's going to be. No, no, we best. We, no, no, not on and co-host. Cheesy and sweet. I'll take it. Okay, <laughs> it's true though. Um, and let's you'll see. win most suspicious character. Yes, I know. Um, 
Boy, that thing's dusty. <laughs> Holy smokes. How long has it been? I liked how you held it up to your eyes. It looked pretty cool. Really? Mm -hmm. I wonder what happens if I put a laser through it. You know, the Hori Sheet Show is really great, too. Is that a... That would be a video series, I'd say. Let's put this him actually down. works. What? This actually works. That's what it's for, magnifying. Well, yeah, but I'm holding it, you know, 10 inches away from the screen. And Inspector actually... Clouseau with the wrong style, but still. So okay. write that down. Hori Sheet. Hori for Sheet. what, the series? For best video series, yes. Hori Sheet. Got it. Again, only mildly racist. And Flat Earth Accord has said that Hori Sheet show best Flat Earth news. We don't really have that. Yeah, we don't really have that. We do have best video series. Hey, you know what? Balls out physics. Brian Mullen. Oh my gosh. Balls out physics. Yes. And for those who know that Brian Mullen's channel is down, the balls out physics can be found on several different people's channels. They have playlists. So his work is not gone. And his interview with me still exists on my channel. It's definitely worth a worth a worth a watch and i did two interviews with him one very early into flat earth and one more recently frank says i vote for marky mark hey i would too come on come on feel it feel it pretty good yeah. don't quit your day job this oh. is nice marilyn wiseby says the personality award goes to martin leadke and bro sanchez if there was a personality oh, award they would be definitely in the running Rob Morrill has an interesting category. I mean, we're not looking for categories now, but best flip flopper. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I've seen people flip, but not flop. Have you seen somebody say, I'm flat, and then say, I'm not, and then come back and say, I'm flat again? Um, no. No, there's flat earthers that'll go away for a while. Yes. But they, uh, no. So wait, I have, an, I have a question. Can you see better with a magnifying glass or your glasses? <laughs> well, considering these glasses actually don't do anything, right? Uh, I, I know, no, I can see fine. <laughs> I, I can see fine. It just some days are worse than others. I spend too much time in front of the computer, and oof, yeah, mornings are not fun. Hmm. The best thing I ever did was one contact in one eye for close reading. I could put two. One so much easier, and I can wear glasses when I feel like it, as opposed to all the time. So I don't think it works for everybody, but it works for me. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm just kind of doing this by Braille right now. Patricia, <laughs> I do. I know the voice. So All right, so let's get out of the that's series. series. Best, uh, best newcomer. All right, best newcomer. Newcomer? Best newcomer, mm -hmm. any suggestions? Uh, yes, my suggestion would be like him or not, somebody who's come new on the scene made a splash ips would have yep. to be there d marble obviously d marble so d marble uh, who else is as far as best newcomers best new kids on the block i know that we are forgetting people because it's Why impossible it? to remember everyone is earth earth pond is that a newcomer technically earth pond well earth pond's awesome the classes help my attitude, not my vision. Nice. <laughs> this good. is funny. Earth Pond is saying best flat earth chat troll, cigar face, because he's relentless. <laughs> he is. Uh, so right now I've got IPS and D Marvel for best newcomers. A couple else people are saying best cucumber because I said best newcomer. <laughs> newcomer? <laughs> best newcomer. It's a new person. It comes equipped with a cucumber. Yeah. Everyone's uh, now saying cucumber. In the thing. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. No. start that. We don't want to talk about. No. No, no it's. Uh, uh, oh, um, you've been exposed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you've been exposed. But wait a minute, you've been exposed was in the gaming world before he came into flat earth. Well, that doesn't mean you have to start up a brand new channel. I mean, technically, my channel's been around since what two thousand seven. Mm. Mostly doing softcore porn and stuff like that. Mm, 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 okay. Um, Can I tell you what my, my porn name is? No. Mark's Buck Naked. Name. There's actually a musician by the name of Buck. No, I stole that from Seinfeld. Yeah, that's, no. that was like, I he think uh, I think George. It's like, yeah, that's what my, my adult film star name would be. Buck Naked. Oh, being an adult film star. Talk about just a horrendous scar that would put on your life forever. And the scarring you had to have in your life in the first place before what, you did to, it. To be the... 
To be, well, yeah, yeah, usually. To do anything involved in it, anything from directing to writing to producing to starring to cleaning up after. Nothing. You had to go there. You had to go (laughs) there. You had to go to the towel boy or towel girl. Oh, geocentric ginger bee flats, ginger sugar bush, who had said all meat and no potatoes. Sorry, Patricia. I thought it was a video that said you and I were shills before Odd apologized. Says, no, the all meat, no potatoes was the Dave Murphy interview. Remember he did that interview? Right, right, yes, right, right. which was great. And uh, he said I w- he was sorry about the meat in the because of me being vegan. That's right. okay. Meat's everywhere. I know it. Uh, authentic intent, newcomer. Sure. Yes. Yeah, we have authentic intent. Oh, you know what? Well uh, street uh, interview. And, and e- e- Enar. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Enar Kusk. Also a newcomer, technically. Enar, authentic. This piece of paper is now looking like I was alcoholically challenged uh, while writing. Well, <laughs> but I am using the pretty pen that you like. So It's, yes, that diamond encrusted <laughs> pen given to you by the Duchess of some country I've never heard of. Mm. But. I didn't even thank her. <laughs> <laughs> um, just just throw it on the pile, will you? In fact, you didn't even accept it. Over my it is like, I don't like things being handed to me. Jeeves. <laughs> Take this pen, will you? Polish the fingerprints off it, please. And put it in one of the more <laughs> less desirable parts of the trunk. Exactly. Uh, let's see. David Blackson says, don't forget about Jungle Surfer. You know? Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, He's not a sa- newcomer. Sassy, sassy undeniably. Sa- oh, my gosh. Flat Earth Kids. Right. Um, kids. Hang on. I'm working on it. Jungle Arwen Surfer says, is not a newcomer. Unless, who? unless it is reinvented. Sometimes. No, Jungle and Surfer. Matt Powerland is... does not count, even though he's reinventing himself. Oh. Uh oh. What happened to Patricia? Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still hear me? Am I still here? There is right. this icon. There you are. What happened? I don't know. You blinked off for a while. Did I blink off or did you? No, you bl- Why? Did you shut me off? No, it looked like to me that you blinked off. No. Oh, you know what? It says my network connection is experiencing difficulties. Check on your conductivity. Well, that's not good. Super duct work activity? Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, something else that happened was yesterday's show that I did with Arwin. Everyone said my connection was fuzzy. So and your connection is not perfect at the moment. So that's weird. And so I'm gonna have to call somebody about that. And that's disheartening. Mm, you know what? Part of it could be just bandwidth for the city. Why? Uh, hurricane yeah. cleanup. Yeah, it could be some hurricane stuff. That's a little tro- probably blame it on. And remember, there was flooding in your neighborhood. No, not really. Well, sort of. I not know. much. Neighbors you didn't really care about anyway. No, no. I mean just so- Oh, no, no, it's all right. It really was. I thought my neighborhood was pretty well, right? Yeah. It, no, it was it compared to the others. All right. Yeah. Best globe versus flat earth debate. Mm. Oh, wow. Globe versus right. flat earth debate. Um, I'm going to open with uh, Zen Garcia and Stephen Pigeon. That's good. Although many people didn't see that one. I know. Uh, there's also... Uh, what about Oscar. you, D-I-T-R-H, and... Um, Oh, why can't I think of his name right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the guy who was an embezzler. Oh, <laughs> um, uh, Brian Dunning. Yeah. Brian that Dunning, was really the good. Guy imprisoned for fraud. Right. So, uh, Mark and the ITRH versus mm-hmm. uh, Mark D'Antonio. And. Well, so really, I guess we could win awards if it's in a group with other people. There you go. Uh, I'll that take it if, it if it's okay. in with DITRH. And DITRH will take the award and, of course, keep the trophy because he's. And he'll way. use the trophy in a home experiment later for some reason. I'm sure right. he will. Or, yes. Because that's what he does, uses stuff around his house. Um, um, right, Jaren and DITRH versus those NASA employees. Inclu- uh, Earth Pond, thank you for that. DITRH versus NASA. Marilyn uh, Wiseby is saying versus that really annoying woman. 
I'm going to actually type that in, that annoying woman. Who was that woman? I don't know. We're going to have to look that one up. You know what? You know which one I'm talking about. I listened to that when I was in Canada, where he was, <gasps> she name. was really, he was, it was not. Her good. name okay. is not coming to my head right now. That's all right. I just put down annoying. We'll figure it out. Jaron and Charles. Uh, also oh, there's... that was a good one with Flat Earth Math. Yes, that was a good one. Jaron versus Charles. Also, Jaron, didn't he go up against... Um... Well, let's just give everything to Jaron. No, I mean, <laughs> Jaron, David Jaren, Weiss. Okay. Jaron versus, uh, oh, that guy that does numerology, Zach. Yes. The guy in TFR, I should yes. know his name. Yeah, I know, and his Zachary name. Zachary Hubbard. Zachary Hubbard. So Put Zachary that in, too. Hubbard. I think we've got any other debates that are out there. And it can't be, it's got to be actually one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I know FEA technically did versus, but that doesn't count because it's, he wasn't, the other person wasn't in the room. No offense. Uh, you've been exposed versus Brenda. Mm-hmm. That was good. Okay. I think. That should probably do that one. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, best FE introductory video. What's the first video you send to people yes. that are brand new to Flat Earth? What do you send uh, to them? I send Ready? people Flat Earth in five minutes by ODD. So throw that in there. Wait, which one? Oh. Flat Earth in five minutes. Uh, and the Potter's Clay one is really excellent as well. Five minutes. Rob Sanchez versus Timmy. Now, does a debate mean a video about another person? I think it does. I don't think it means when you show what somebody said and then you respond. A debate no, no, no. is actually head, people it's gotta engaging. Because head head. somebody mentioned um, FEA versus Vsauce, but that would more be in a, a continuing series of versus videos that he did. And so we threw that in the uh, um I'm sorry, Miss Laurel series. Austin, uh, Flat Earth Clues, it will not be considered for this category. Flat Earth Clues, that's pretty <laughs> Never heard of it. Amazing right. thing that I, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for that. Or, oh, who knows? Maybe I would have. Maybe I would have stumbled across somebody else's video and got to where I am today. I don't mean you know where what? I am today as if this is some lofty place, but become a flat earther. But the it was power of interview. Somebody mentioned it. Marty Leeds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My Flat Earth Awakening by Eric Dubay. Oh, Marty Leeds litmus test. I mean, that's a great one. The only reason I send people who are questioning Flat Earth in Five Minutes by ODD is because they always say, make it short. I don't have time. And then you send them that and they come back and say, well, then why don't you tell me about it in your own words? Don't send me some other person's material. And then you realize, just block them. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, good point. I mean, I'm talking about on Facebook or wherever. People who no matter what you send them, even if it was on a gilded platter, they'd be just trying to fight with you yeah definitely uh put the uh eric dubay video there too got it uh sage seals says the rants by the morgyle on globusters that's gonna be tricky but i can do it Morgyle right. rant okay let's see um, a bunch of people are saying flat earth clues yeah i know i know you know, it's a small series. Not very many people saw it. Didn't affect too many people, but it could catch on. <laughs> uh, like the internet could catch on. I heard big things about that. <laughs> not that my internet idea. connection, no. The internet tubes. The um, I used to think when I heard about the internet, it was tubes underground. So. Rory Cooper is very clear, good for first timers. Yes, indeed. But Rory Cooper is no longer around, but I guess it still counts. Technically, it does. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Wait, no, you're, we're, no, no, Roy Cooper isn't that great for, because you have to have three dimensional thinking to pull that off. It is not, it is not for the faint. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just saying, it's, this has got to be like easy, easy stuff. People, you would, you'd give it to your, your aunt. Got it. Okay, let's move on. Worst NASA mistake slash blunder. Guys, like I said, go. opening. Nice. And you were there at NASA. Hairspray. Uh, fading out. Astronauts. Uh, oh, yeah. Mike Helmick. Yes. Uh, 
DITRH. The recent one, the DITRH, where they're handing off the hat. Yep, DITRH. Oh, guys, well, actually, was, well, actually that, was, that was Helmick found that one first. Yes, yes. Oh, really, really. Uh, A lot of great videos by Bling Bling, the BS of the ISS on NASA fakery. Yeah, she's found some really good things. She found, and maybe others found it too, but the first time I saw it was on her channel, where she found reflections in a helmet or plastic part, I guess it looked like plastic, of some weird people wearing masks covering their faces. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a creepy one. Yeah. That was creepy. But, you know, if there are people filming them, they would have <laughs> covered their faces to create no bouncing white light if they had white skin or light skin. Um, and to be hidden, like like drapery over their face. Like old-time photographers would put that big drape over their head to focus in. Daniel, Daniel did that with his hoodie quite a bit. Yeah, blocking out the sun, blocking out the light. Daniel, the producer who filmed us, right. and is going to film others for the documentary, by the way. Oh, and I heard people saying, I hired Daniel. No, well, neither Mark, no, I contacted Daniel, the filmmaker. He's, he's legit. Um, he, he and in fact, he and five. There's a team of six, going to be going to be there shooting that. And thing. they found flat earthers. Right. We did not. We find didn't call them. them, and we're not paying them or anything. Nope. Nope. They are doing this by themselves because they want to see what they can turn it into. Right. And people are asking what it's going to be used for. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Well, I mean, not... it's a pretty safe bet what they're going to do. Well, hopefully, it'll get lots of people's eyes on it. Yeah. And that'll be interesting. Um, we're not getting paid for it and we didn't pay to have it created. The tough part of course is going to be not the making it, as you know, lots of people make stuff like this. It's can they get someone to distribute it? Right. Yeah. There's and, a lot of great things that are completed that are collecting dust on a shelf. Right. You have to get a producer that says, yeah, I think we could spread this thing around and make a nickel, but we won't be seeing those nickels. Unfortunately, the, okay. Best dome vid. It's out there. Best dome, not infinite plane, best dome vid. Suggestions? Well, Jesse Spots did those videos that rainbows prove the dome. Whether or not that's true, those were really, really popular videos. Oh. Um, Jeffrey Grupp. Yes, with the uh, sun dog and the glass yeah, bowl. Sundogs. I think that's the first person we saw do it. Edicism.com. Other people have done these sorts of things. We're just trying to find yeah, the Yeah, I think, did some reflective stuff. Yes. Uh, who else did some? Rob Skiba. I've gone back and forth with the, the dome since the beginning. At first I was, yes, there's a dome. Later I was, no. Now I'm more like, there's got to be something. There's just got to be something. Hey, I'm, you know my, my feelings on it. But that doesn't mean that there's not multiples out there. So it could, I've often said it could be both going on for a very long or infinite amount of time. But people say when you say that, it's nothing more than just saying infinite space. So you're back in that old game again. Right. So but right. maybe different worlds encased in a dome. Maybe. The creator made them all and it's just watching out, checking it out, seeing what's going on. Better than TV. It's the real reality show. It is. It's the best best show on earth. As Ooh, well. exactly. See what did there. Okay, let's jump. Let's just. I know we're not going to be able to go through all of them. Let's just go as far as we can. Uh, best infinite plane video. Who? Who's the big follower in the infinite plane world? Well, it's out there. Other than obviously, oh, well, I mean IBS. Yes, but IBS has said that his channel and videos aren't about. An infinite plane. He Do thought I that that meant use? infinite possibilities. So it could be a dome. It could maybe not be a dome. He didn't want people to just say dome, period, end of story, because he felt that that was too limiting and that we should just, until we know for sure, keep an open mind to all the possibilities. At least that's I'm sorry, it, Laurel, we... you're, you're absolutely right. Zen Garcia, he wrote several books on this. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Sure. Yeah, I know. It's I hard. I have those books. You know how much flat earth material all of us have consumed? You oh, and I, of sorry, course. Laurel. Everyone here. Right. Iron Republic as well. Dome person? People are saying Powerland. Well, yeah, but Infinite Plane, other than Matt, who is a big... But, you know, Matt has 
in recent times from what I've been able to see, and I'm not a follower really, but I've seen some videos seem to have gone more in a biblical perspective, talking about God a lot, which he really still doesn't talk about the dome. Is Eric Dubay an infinite plane guy? I don't think so. I don't know, to be honest. I think in the early days, he might have talked about a dome. I don't know now. I don't follow him that much either, but I have followed some of his videos. All right. Anybody, uh, anybody else out there, just and, and anyone else that you know that's got over like, say, 5,000 subs that's into inf the infinite plane theory? Well, they can have one sub and be nominated. Yeah, I know, but you know what I mean. But I mean, if they have 5,000 subs, the chances are they their videos are all over the place. Yeah, the only thing is if you have one sub, sometimes people don't see your videos, which is just the way the stupid algorithm works. So, Anybody? Anybody? Hello? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> I, and Your people are saying, oh, IPS friends. is bad, IPS is this. The thing is, is that you're totally free to say that. Um, there's so many channels on YouTube. Watch what you like. Don't watch what you don't like. Vote with All your right, pocket. Let's book. move on to the next one then. Uh, and I'm listening to every word you're saying, by the way, I'm not trying to cut you off because I know you're mm -hmm. reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. Mm -hmm. Plus I'm playing a game in the background. The best FE chat room. Who's of course, got the, this one. Of course, this one. But we're not going to play favorites. No. Ooh. Okay. So a lot of people like IPSs because everyone's a mod. Ooh, the rent control. IPS, yes. got it. A lot of people like chat rooms that are completely wrench free, where trolls run wild. And I would say that we could put Nathan Oakley in that category, because as far as I know, he doesn't have any moderators. I like, um, I like you've been exposed because, well, it's a fun chat room in there. It's got an attitude. This is true. So put that there too. Bro Sanchez's chat is really fun as well. Bro Anybody Sanchez. else say that? Uh, uh they, they name a chat room you enjoy going to for whatever reason yes. name a chat room that you enjoy nasa lies of course <laughs> Globusters. oh my gosh why did we not really we forgot Globusters. yes call. Globusters. you know what makes Globusters um, is the opening hypes you up their opening thing they play Oh, we need to put them in there too. Remember we had, what is it called? A trailer. Best video trailer or no best video. It's, we haven't gotten there yet. Okay. It's down, it's down the list. Yeah. Okay. Globusters. Yes, yes, yes. Sun and moon, Globusters, sun and moon, Globusters. I got it. Sun and moon is really good too. Really cool people. Super positive. Flat earth court. <laughs> people love being in there too. Okay. We, you know what? We're really blessed with all this that we've got. A banquet of Flat Earth activity 24-7. Well, I'm blessed because I get to work with you quite often. Is that a groaner or a clanker? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I thought I was being like smooth, but you new. Smooth. Uh, everyone's saying Glowbusters, Sun and Moon Group. All right, all right. We know, we know where to go. Okay. Hello, so Karen, that's by the, the way. Chat room. That's the chat room. That being said... Who has the best hangouts? Ah. Same sort of list, I'm sure. So a hangout is who's Groups on the screen. People. Who's on the screen? Who has the best? Sun and Moon Group. Let me think about that. World Busters got to be in there because, well, yep. they're pulling the most people. Um, <clears throat> my, my favorite has got to be uh, You've Been Exposed. Geocentric Ginger B. Flat says authentic intent has the best live interaction in a chat room, which is true. Right. I've he's walking around and everybody in the chat is talking among themselves and giving him ideas of what to say, not that he needs anyone's ideas. Okay. Got it. It's been over 10 minutes. 10 minutes what? I don't know. Our show is set to go till the top of the hour. Oh. Oh, um, what happens? What happens if we is it late? Is it on a timer? No, we actually could go till 7.30, or excuse me, my time, the bottom of the hour, but it would be 7.30 my time. Well, we'll go a little bit longer. But we can go, you know, we have the, a uh, little bit of time. Uh, We've got I mean, 35 we're, we're minutes. Gonna, we're, gonna the list. we're only about halfway through it. The, um, I'm sorry, it's the best hangout, best hangout, best hangout. Smooth like tequila. Yes, I totally get that. The, that was back to my Earth Pond is saying IPS is fun, no trolls. Yes, to me, that's a good thing. But some yeah, but like no, the people on the screen. The freedom. 
I mean, he does he does okay, but but I think I think this this particular chat room. I'm not saying it needs to be nominated, but what I'm saying is I walk the line between everybody's got a wrench and completely you know and and ultimate freedom for anybody to say anything. We get trolls in here. We allow some trolling, and then when it gets too severe, they they get knocked down. So it's a middle ground with the way this one's run. I also like Sassy Undeniably and Flat Earth Teens for their hangouts. Yes, yes. I said Flat Earth Kids earlier, but Flat Earth Teens, sorry. Nice. Did they want to get us in trouble? Well, why don't you just call them Flat Earth Underage and Explore? Right, but when you say flat, when, the word kids, I've tried to take that away from my vocabulary because it's a goat, a kid. But everyone says it. So. Coming soon, Flat Earth Children. <laughs> Gosh. No. I mean, not nothing against children, but oh my no god! No one over the age of nine. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Look, Dina Walker's got a good point that IPS is not merely a chat; it's a think tank, which is true. People are coming up with ideas. Uh, James Hicks Bosen says, "Flat out elected." For which is a good hangout? one too. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> hangout. Rand, Randy, very good. Oh my God, Dell. Oh my gosh, Dell. Yes. On the imaginary curve. In fact, I was listening to that this morning. You know, when you have him on the background and you're doing something else, yes. I'm going to tell you, that man has a talent for profanity. Who? Wait. Dell. Oh. You know, the imaginary curve. He absolutely has but a way got... of just. But it's <laughs> things like lick spittle and all of that well i mean it's it yeah it's it's definitely uk based but well, i mean scotland specific he's, he's like a like well, a paisley specific maybe in some cases he's he's thing? got this rage and he's got it contained it's shed rage he, yeah he yeah he's got that he's like a bottled scottish hulk that just he can't turn green you know he gets to that certain point and he's like Okay, moving on. Next, it's like it's called passion. It's like rage. Turn off. <laughs> rage. Turn off. It's good. Uh, All right, let's go. Best moderator. Okay, best moderator. Best moderator. Um, Who's the best moderator you've seen? Just I, I do know someone, and their name is escaping me. Uh, best moderator. Best moderator. Best mo moderator. Check. No, no, I know this person's name. It's a female. No, it's a guy, and he's in and he's in IPS all. I think it's a guy, and he's in IPS all the time, and he's got it's a two part name. Somebody's gonna say it here, but he's very fast. So, like the fastest gun in the West type of thing. I think I'm gonna nominate Udina Walker as best moderator Ooh, because there you go. she uses kindness and wisdom, but also will knock you down if you deserve. I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna nominate. Uh, D I T R H. Uh, Ace McLeod has also been. Oh my gosh, Ace McLeod. Uh, cat size. Hmm. Uh, Geocentric Ginger says, Ukdina Walker. So, uh, yeah. Irk Child says Ukdina as well. And I know Ukdina, that, I know Ukdina. that Ukdina. Candy is in a lot of Hangouts. Yes. But I don't know how much she actually. Ogdina is saying lickety split, but there's one other person, Ogdina, that I'm thinking of that's in the IPS chat. That's John that... John Pounders. <laughs> is there? Oh, a no, no, I know that's actually a real thing. What I said, which okay. makes me modify. That's now one of my top three porn names. That'll be number three, Mark Pounders. <laughs> there's no such person. No, there isn't. But that would be if I had to go back and and. Uh... Oh, I get it. And my, my fantasy summer and sophomore year of high school going down to, to the valley mm -hmm. and, and doing porn under an assumed name with a fake ID. Yeah, that's the one of the names I'd use. It also sounds like your porn name that you were speaking of earlier. Well, that's what I mean. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. And, and then a good mod name. And only to be found out later. Frequency Illuminated got it. Toto Cult. That's who I was thinking of. Wow. He's always um, right, I ADR that. as well, says the same thing. That's okay. the guy who's known as being um, fast. But also Morky Love, too. And we're not going to just name IPS chat mods. Right. But because he's got everybody as a mod there, you right. can definitely see their modding skills. I used to mod in Globusters, and I would get caught up in the show and forget to do anything. So okay, I was probably I think, worst mod ever. I think we can punch through these. 
let's let's do it let's do it okay do best it. channel name give me best channel name um, something catchy best channel name it can't be channel. a guy's real name like mark Sargent. i know right, that's right. a cool name but look i'm, yeah. I'm out of this well, sun and moon group is a good name sun and moon group right Definitely. because it says what it is best channel name that's channel name yes thank you zula you know? one for your porn name dick Steele. that's awesome <laughs> Okay, ODD Reality. That is a very good channel name. Good. Because his DJ name was Overdose Denver, so it's his name, kind of, not his real name. And then uh, Odd Reality, because we do live in an odd reality. That's a good one. Morgyle. Glowbusters. Glowbusters. Morgyle is his old video gaming name, I think. I don't know if that's particularly, I'm not saying Flat it's a bad water. name. Mm, not bad. Flat water's good. What else? <laughs> we're, we're looking for best channel name. We're going to do this for another 60 seconds. G yeah, Ginger yeah, Sugarbush says the worst channel name is Ginger Sugarbush. <laughs> it, it is probably the worst channel name, name, but funny. I think I told you there was a girl that was two grades below me. Her real name was, and I couldn't make this up, Charity Bush. Oof. Wow. Yeah. It's the Bush family's bloody niece. <laughs> um, okay. E I T R H. What about that? Yeah. Deep inside the rabbit hole. Dit Ra. Uh, you've been exposed. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's a really good one, but it's you been exposed. I said you've been exposed. Mm -hmm. You know, Flatwater, according to Arwen, has been here from the start. Glenn is his name. Seventh day truth seeker. Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. Critical thinking always. That's a really good channel name. Uh, Nicholas Stevens says flat earth and other hot potatoes. Well, you know, it's not the best channel name, but it's the most parodied channel name. Yeah, you know this, Mark. Earth. Yeah, it is the most parodied, definitely. People are making their own mock names using part of it or all of it. Yeah. Negative videos about me or just for fun for other purposes. Right. It's funny how I see that. Well, yes, Beyond the Imaginary Curve is a fantastic channel name. It doesn't say flat earth in it, but... <laughs> It doesn't have to. Z Zulu One says, how about Zulu One? It's like, eh, no. Good Times for All says Potter's Clay. Potter's Clay isn't bad. Yeah. All right, we got, we got enough for this. Oh my gosh, you guys this is another good one. Truth is Stranger Than Fiction. And uh, here it is right here, Authentic Intent. Uh, a couple other people are saying Authentic Intent. All right. Celebrate Truth. Did we put Globusters already? Yep. Okay. Okay. We're moving on. What about Matt? We got a lot on this one already. We'll <laughs> no. be able to pick. We'll, be able to pick. Anyone? We'll, we'll find it. We're not worried. This is just suggestions so that we can so we can get a better idea of what you guys want. Okay. Best Flat Earth Studio, meaning what's in the background <laughs> of that right there. Let me think about this for a minute. Somebody Best who has a studio. nice studio, pleasing to look at. Lots of colors, lots of interesting details. Wow. I don't know any. Do you at all? Oh, my God. <laughs> Best <laughs> giant blown up poster made by Nigo Nicole. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me look. No, nope, no, nope, nope. She didn't check her ego at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Doors over there. There's no ego. It's right Best there. license plate made into a poster by Nicole Cote behind a flat earther who would that be saying like uh, yeah who would make a giant you, eight foot you, <laughs> flat earth license plate as a background yeah exactly yeah um all right so okay so best studio who's, who's got the best studios meth power bong <laughs> oh, there we go falls out physics was actually pretty good yeah he had a chalkboard and he looked like he was in a school uh let's see here uh the imaginary curve we have the imaginary curve because oh, you got yeah well, okay. Well, okay. We'll do it. Worst and best. All we right. could nominate Dan Pratt from his garage. Yeah, Dan, definitely Dan Pratt studio. Yeah, Dan mm -hmm. Pratt. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, we got a worst category too. FEA. Does he have one? DITRH uh, is really his kitchen. Right, right. Um, best flattered background. I, I'm going to do uh, You've Been Exposed. Well, that's just a lot of activity on his, but yeah. you know, that is something. A lot of stuff Nathan, going on there. Nathan's Oakley, Nathan's Oakley, no, Nathan Oakley's is very well planned out. That's true. Um, oh, yeah, Horry Sheets show. Oh, 
Laurel oh, Austin says Rob Skiba with that Nephilim skull on his bookcase. Rob Skiba. Books. Oh, how about Celebrate Truth when he used to do his thing? You know, I, I'm not going to use Celebrate Truth. I'm going to use the combo because he did it with, um, well, Controversy 7. Yes. When they did that. Uh, they haven't done a lot of them. Oh, yeah. When they did it, it they had like studio. a mock-up studio. It looked like There's something super studio. professional and a very high-tech studio. But yeah. also... Um, Santos Bonacci. I don't know. Rich, uh, Thrive and Survive. Remember, he would also oh, use, right. a, I don't know, what a formula that uses a template that has a desk, makes All you right. look like a newscaster. Okay, let's move on to worst. Flutter well, studio. we're going to nominate Dan Pratt Studio and Dell mm -hmm. Beyond the Imaginary Curves, although we've also nominated them for best because they, they're they good and bad, like, like everyone's. I mean, mine is also, it could be the best because it's colorful, but it's also the worst because it has nothing to do with Flat Earth. The reason I have this set up is when I first started in Flat Earth, this was just in my office set up pretty much like this. Right. And I just started talking and that's what was behind me. And I moved and then reset it up pretty much the same again. So it's not so good and, and good. Depends on how you want to look at it. Our God. Star God as well. He doesn't have a studio. Ryan Moulin, you spelled it wrong, DJ. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Russian vids, lack of studio. <laughs> I don't think you think you have to have something. You can't have no studio because we don't even know what Russian vids looks like, do we? Yeah, we kind of do. Do we? Mm -hmm. I wish he would come back. Uh, let's see. I'm sure she needs an empty clock on her wall. Yes, she does. What else? What else? Uh, dun, dun, dun. Maggie M says Nathan Oakley 1980s couch. <laughs> jazz Is that for good or bad? Jazz oh, Jazz Sinclair, Sinclair because, true. Because he's in his car. his car. This thing on. Yeah, that could be for best or worst, depending on. There's quite on a what few people think. that do uh, cars. Yeah, you know what? Our one's going to get in there too. Bookland Smith says best glasses. Nicole Cote. Yeah. I don't know if everyone knows this or not, and she's made it public, so I don't feel bad about speaking of it. Her mother, quite young, died suddenly just a few days ago. So Nicole Cote is not making videos right now. And uh, if you check my Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes Facebook and my personal Patricia Steer Facebook, you'll see that she was doing a GoFundMe for funeral expenses. Not a lot of money she's trying to raise, but absolutely unprepared to bury her mother. So a really oh, sad thing. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it, that's tragic. She was supposed to be my guest in the next couple of days, and we have postponed the interview, obviously. Uh, you know what? I, I, is it the best studio or the worst studio? Who's? D Marble. The van. The van. I don't, I don't know. know. I think the it's the best. The worst? I uh, think it's the best. Because he doesn't have any debt. He can go anywhere he wants. He can always, he, he's free. All right. Well, yeah, we'll take a look at that. I'll, I'll, put, it, I'll put it in both. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, number 19, best flat earth meetup organizer. Wow. Sick, your David Foster. I, I vote for David Foster. Now, David uh, Foster has the small YouTube channel called all people free people i think that's what it's called it's all run together right. but he's the man who organized the seattle uh, meetup that we attended not and the recent one. one in portland oregon yes and he's just a really nice genial guy who really has a big deep heart and um he he's just you know when you meet people i've met him when you I'm meet not someone a and their goodness just is like coming out of them that yeah. would be him I'm not, I'm not a meetup organizer, guys. The, I'm just, I put the promos together. You're a promo organizer. I'm a promo guy, but. You'd, you'd win for person who helps others unselfishly 24 hours a day. If there was that category, because of what you'd put out, sharing other people's content and putting up promos for people, you don't, I mean, you do it and it takes you time to put it together and you continually do it. Like no questions asked. It's. Well, thank you. Really, really awesome. Is that your uh, Harley that just went by? Well, you know, I'm down on the east side. 
All right. Um, so okay. So yeah, the Effie New England, uh, and then I'll look up other organizers for that one because it's basically anybody that did an, an, uh, a meetup. But yeah, David Foster I think is the the big front runner on that one. The best flat Earth billboard organizer. And there's only been mm. a few so far. There was the couple. You know, I, I, I know. I'm yeah, and they got in a car accident. They got in a car wreck. And I don't remember the name. And um, right now, because I'm just can't think on the fly, both of them. Right. Uh, uh, Dave, wasn't David Foster also responsible for the billboard? Or that I don't know. That? Uh, that I don't know. Do, uh, well, I know IPS was responsible for the billboard, but he used the funding of many who donated. So yes. put him in. I'll put him in there. Anybody else having a, a name to drop? Yeah, there was, wasn't there one out in, uh, how many billboards were there? Hey, Joey. I, I Shout out to you, Mark Bro. Should you use mm. more caps, Joey? Turn off your caps. Joey says Mark has done a lot for Flat Earth. Yes, I, he has. I do what I can. I'm just humbled to be a part of it. Um, the until I make it big and then all you guys, I'm not even going to mm, talk to you again. Someone's saying Star Gods is the best. Best at what, I ask. <laughs> That's tough to say. Okay, let's move on to best video trailer. We don't we don't have that many more. Now, that's one that I'm not so keen on. Why? Because you don't have one? You don't even count in this case. You don't... I know, it has nothing to do with me. I do have trailers. Who's done the best video trailer for a full-length production? Okay, well, I would say Robbie D of Celebrate Truth right. or Scientism Videos. Scientism exposed. Isn't that it? Why is my mind blanking? What the heck? What the heck's going on? Oh, no, it's good. Yeah, scientism it, right? exposed. Okay, uh, but then what else? Name something else. Ooh, you mean like I'm drawing there, a blank. There may That's not why be I don't like the category. Else. There's not a multitude. Mm, you know what? I mean, we make trailers. And I've made a whole bunch of trailers for different things. But right. since I don't count, you're right. It's going to be kind of tricky. Because I made stuff for you. I made stuff for me. I made promos and different little trailers for all sorts of fun. Put down authentic intent. He did his own billboard. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait. Yeah, authentic intent. And actually, as far as video trailers, I know somebody that can give Robbie a run for Oh, my gosh. Enar Kus. Enar Kus. Yes. See, okay, we, so we have two. We're good. See? We're on the same page. You know why? Because we're you're connected. like this? Yeah. We're like, yeah. We are. Yeah. Forever. And we're typing to each other in a secret chat box on the side. Right. No, we're not. Um, we might be. People have said that there's uh, that people do talk to each other. Uh, they're like they talk in a secret chat box when they're doing hangouts about many people. It's like yeah, people do that when there's a large hangout. There's nothing suspicious about that. No, in our case, we actually don't have time to type in too many places, so we no. do sort of like um, secret hand signals that baseball coaches use. Right. You know, like this. when I do this, means something. No, that's Carol Burnett. Yeah, that's Carol Burnett. <laughs> Okay. Right. Um, okay. So, all right. Let's move on to best camera footage. Okay. P900 or other camera. Uh, Carly Sunshine. Carly Sunshine. That's my nomination. Aaronism. Okay. Who else? Rob, really Rob good. Skiba. Rob Skiba. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, people down in Australia. <laughs> Some people, in people all over the place. The who's done, who really, who's done really good camera footage? A person who had an opportunity to do camera footage but refused, John LeBon. <laughs> Dan Dimension. <laughs> okay, Dan Dimension. Sounds good. Thanks, Laurel. Uh, Simon LeBon. Best camera footage would mean type of camera looking at, um, oh my gosh, CD, take back space. Remember the channel? Focusing on the moon, CD? live chat rolling. He was oh, on Globusters. Take back space. Okay. Uh, Crow triple seven. Oh yeah. Carly original Sunshine Brandon does really good Crow stuff. Camera yes. <laughs> Is Carly Sunshine a good photo taker? Yes, Brandon. Indeed, she is. Yes, she is. Rob Richie Kiko? is Richie from Boston. A good. I don't think he... that that's what he does primarily. He's oh, we should put Richie from Boston in worst flat Earth studio or best because he does most of his stuff from his truck on the way to Home Depot, <gasps> which I think is awesome. All right, we'll do. Uh... Oh, here's another one, Kofo seventy two. 
does good footage. Uh, Jenna Fredo, another one. These are not coming yes. from my head, yes. by the oh. way. When I look over here, I'm looking at the chat in case anybody's wondering. Emily Suzanne for her star footage with the P900. see Richie from Boston yeah I got Richie from Boston I mean we should have had a category if we had more we should have something where Richie from Boston is in it and we should have Russian vids in it you know that kind of a category right but we don't we don't have time it's grooving it's all cool in the gang no worries okay Chris let's... Van Maitre Chris. okay uh I said that so loud one of my cats flying just like jumped on. over here we're at 23 I need to buy a fan. You know those kind of glamorous fans. When we say something well, dramatic, I, I can snap it open. Some sort of effect on no, you. No, it's very hot in here. Again, no, scene number you? one. Yep, it's me. It's because I've got five LED lights behind my MacBook Pro, and LED you'd think was a cool light, but I don't know. Maybe the moon's an LED light or the sun. We don't really know. I already got Rob's keeper for footage. Yeah. Well, hey. And the studio guys that are helping out, Rich, Gary, Mike, Caroline. The uh, okay, best FE meetup video. And I saw one recently. ODD was in it. What's the video? It was uh, Denver. Or Everyone no, was Fort, around. Fort Collins. I'm just going to list them by city. Yes. So there's Fort Collins. There's Denver. There's Boston. The uh, Houston one was great. Where a flat Houston. earther. Uh, who hates everybody except for the fence skeptic uh, showed up under an assumed name. He RSVP'd under a fake name, showed up and towered over me at six foot four, looking down on me and said that I was a tranny. <laughs> that was an awesome meetup. It was that my meetup. Should die slow and, and that man, that man ate the food I provided for free and drank the drinks I provided for free. That then man proceeded to do that. Terminated. See what I did there? Terminated. And he calls himself a Christian too. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some bad Crazy things have people. been done in the name of the church. All right. Uh, and some wonderful things. Fastest we'll growing channel nominations right. so far: D Marble, D Marble, FEA, mm -hmm. FEA, I yes. IPS, IPS, yes. Uh, yeah. I think those three. Those come to mind. Those Anybody those else? Fastest yeah, growing fast channel. Fastest growing channel. Generally, you've got to hit five figures. Earth Pond is nominating himself, hands down. I make the best meetup bids. Well, yeah, no, I, I put in Boston. Oh, you put so yeah, yeah, okay. and I'm 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 tied to you. Don't worry about it. All right, all right. We got gotcha. you. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, who else is so then? We'll if more will come up because we still got another six weeks. Uh, best... right. You've been exposed, and FEA are being. I already got, got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. You've been exposed. That's channel. Yeah, I got. We should I got have it. had another category of a channel that should have at least ten thousand subs, but doesn't. That would have been a fun one as well. You know, a channel that well, just there's, you, there's that you're shocked that they don't have more. They, they usually call them the dark horse the awards. Right. Uh, I mean, there's underrated channels out there, but I wouldn't sweat it too much because you know everybody's got their niche. For example, yeah. like, like Globusters, as you know, I mean, the man can pack a room for a uh, live hangout, but he's got a quarter of the subs that Jaron does, right. which is kind of weird because Jaron could go in and do one and he wouldn't get that many. It's so, strange, isn't it? It is. I think there should be a category of best flat earth cats. Really? But we don't have that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Best <laughs> channel intro or animation. So D I T R H, he's been working a lot. In yeah, studio. he's got a really good one. Globusters is. Very oh my gosh, Globusters! But, but it's not a guaranteed win because remember, they're using. It's not a guaranteed win because he's using most of it is footage from the Globusters reboot movie. Yes, and the music is very compelling. So yeah, it's not a guarantee. So who else? But it has? does hype you up. Yep, celebrate truth. Yes. Okay, best intro. 
Uh, we're still in best intro. Who has the best little hooks in the beginning of their things? No, I don't count. I mix it up a lot anyway. The I don't even have the same one that many times. Best intros. Best intros is a hard one. It's not my favorite either, by the way. But who am I? And somebody's <laughs> got his cell phone. First class ticket to the timeout room. Uh oh. That's right. I call it Blockland personally. Blockland, which About. might already be uh, trademarked by Minecraft. Really? It might be. I the like it. All right. So any intros, intros, intros. Oh, yeah. Beyond the Veil. Yeah. Chris Geo. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Chris Geo counts. It doesn't have to just be on YouTube. It can be on TFR or any other platform. I mean, technically, Chris Geo is overseeing five different pro flat earth. It's true. Programs and two anti flat earth, which is pretty big yeah. of him actually to to do that. Sub photonic. Okay. Oh my gosh, sub photonic for just like fun guy. If we had that, that it's very vague, but. He's really cool. Oh yeah, ODD. ODD's been working on his stuff. Oh yes. He's been making it more, and you know, and people have been. It's been evolving over time. Joey Sylvie says hashtag Blockland. <laughs> I think anytime someone's blocked in my chat, we should just put hashtag Blockland. Make it the thing for this channel. What's the, what's the variation of the old school schoolyard thing? Welcome to Blockland. Population. You. you. <laughs> But it is true, subphotonic. Yo, yo, yo. Here we go. Put him uh, down. His best Jared, channel. I'm sorry, intro. Jaredism. Duh. Jaredism using his four dollar. I bought it second hand at a thrift store, Studio yes. Twelve. Yeah, love it. But definitely, definitely, definitely put subphotonic. I got him. I got him. Okay. All right. Now we're here to the musics. We're down to the last five. And okay. actually, we came in at just about two hours when we did this. Yeah. All right. So best. We're, we're now doing music only. There's five mm -hmm. categories. Mm -hmm. And we first... only have 13 minutes before this thing shuts down. Okay, let's do it fast. Best cover. Adele. Meaning... Adele cover by Amanda. Amanda. Amanda? No. Amber Plaster. Amber Plaster. <laughs> Amber Plaster. Sorry. Who else has done uh, Painted Black by uh, that guy? And the ground control to Major Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I love that. Ground control to Major Tom. Uh, I'll have to look through some of the songs. Yeah, so we're going to have to. I mean, this is not the final. So best, song. best cover song. And I guess I got ODD. Uh, that funny guy, Charles Chow. <laughs> um, Okay, okay, we'll move on, but we know where we got. We've got a couple there. Best um, best comedic song, best funny song. Oh, there's it so cannot many. Cannot be a cover, and there's I, I'd have to go through the list. I mean, I've got all of them, thank God. Right, right, right. Well, not all of them, but a well, really good song. Most of them, yeah. Um, so best comedic song, anybody have an idea? Best, we'll come back to it. Best funny songs. Um, uh, I'll go through the list, let's go through. Best female vocalist. Okay, so best female vocalist. Got to go with Amber Plaster. Not the only one, but it, she is the heavy on. I mean, I've got to say she's got to be in there somewhere. Right, right, right. Um, there's some folk songs. There's some people. There's some, I'll, I'll, I'll go through the list. There's a whole bunch we can, we can choose. FEA, we don't have. Oh yeah, FEA, best male vocalist. Oh wait, um, well, no, I'm sorry. Best, 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 best comedic song. Uh, FEA. Yes. Um, the, we don't we don't have time for the flat earth society there's another one he had too can't remember but just put fea we'll look it up later yeah we'll look up that one. Oh, what about there's no ball in the by ball by math powerland you know what that was Pretty a good, good song yeah all in the by ball yep christopher says best funny song is we don't have time yep that's true that's yeah, that's that's really good. You know, Isa Mahalski or Isa Mahal as he used oh, to be now, yeah. oh, a God. flat Earth court. He has a lot of good songs. Daz, um, Daz Nez, the um, Darren Nesbit won't go back to the ball. Isn't necessarily a funny song, but I think it should be nominated for best male vocalist. We won't, and I'll play that one for you. Go back. To I just went into chat and had to get rid of somebody. Hashtag Blockland. Uh, the country song guy, yeah. And as far as ma best male vocalist, yes. that uh, that great country song, country song guy. Yeah, we yeah Flutter the Chord is mentioning it, but we can't think of his name, but it's good. 
yeah, yeah. I've, I'll be able to pull that one up. Uh, no ball in the Bible. <laughs> no, we can't exclude Matt. He's done a lot of work for this. Uh, yes. Community. Darren Nesbitt, yes. So we've got for, so yeah, and Darren Nesbitt for the, um, yeah, w for the best male vocalist, we won't go back to the ball. Country song guy. Yes. Uh, and we will find some competition for Amber. I swear to God, we'll try. There's got to be another woman who there's sings. Oh, well, it. you know, there's Zoe of Be Here in Love, but I don't think she's done a flat earth song, but she's got a great voice and Yike, I'm not sure how to say her name, but definitely awesome as well. Um, other women that I just can't think of right now, I'm sure. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Uptina, I love the new country one. Yeah, we can't think of who that is, Uptina. Uh, well, we'll, you know, because I'm going to be going through the 2016 list as well. Right. Because we didn't do one. And yeah, we seems, didn't there's, do. There's some good songs. I mean, like, for example, technically, hate to say this, but you know who's who who's, should be nominated automatically? 2016. Oh, you say you hate to say this. Flatline. Oh. By, by I don't know, a Grammy also, nominated. Eric Dubay had some good songs. Oh, right. He didn't drop Eric, on me. Eric, yeah, Eric Dubay had a, you know, we, we may even have to make up a little montage. Right. Dubay and then Flatline by Rapper B.O.B. That started off, you know, that chain reaction. Yes. Where he was Neil deGrasse Tyson's sound clip. But does B.O.B. count? Because he's not one of us. Well, he doesn't make videos, but he did make an entire album with an enclosed earth as the cover. Oh my gosh, we need to put Zoe of Be Here in Love because she did a flat earth song. You can't fly me to the moon. All right. And that song is on the Be Here in Love channel. And it's just this incredible, like if you imagine a smoky cocktail bar, this okay. glamorous woman comes up in a red dress and the spotlight's on her and the air is still and she begins singing it's that kind of song it's just beautiful got it uh payday monsanto some people are saying for a song oh and um oh boy boy, boy. it was casting off the priest remember that song from 2016 oh wow no yeah, yes no while, kind of know. helena phoenix some are saying helena phoenix oh my gosh yes Hmm. Well, we've got a lot of stuff. We mentioned Darren Nesbitt, oh. right? Yeah, yeah. We right now for mail, we got Darren Nesbitt, we got the country song guy, we got Eric Dubay, we got BOB and Flatline. Uh, we have a funny yeah. troll in here who's writing his name is Science Wins. He wrote, Feminism is getting worst. Worst, not worse. W O R S T. That's just what he wrote here. Feminism may be getting worse but your usage of the English language is a fail. He's off to Blockland. I hope he enjoys himself. Blockland. Uh, okay, so I think, we, I think we've got a pretty good, and of course, number 30 will be the Tiger Dan Award, mm -hmm. which uh, will go to- Somebody insert, who's disappeared. Insert cricket sounds here, because <laughs> they're not gonna be around. So I think we got a pretty good list so far, yeah. and we will go over them next time, but we, we will confer with the uh, we've got a lot of work to do mister you and i you up for it wow seriously phrasing you're gonna throw you gonna softball that to me but we do have a lot of work to do this is not you know there's a lot of <laughs> honest to god I, the theme okay. we've been talking through we have a lot of work to do mister you up for it and me wearing <laughs> a plumber's outfit <laughs> That's not what I meant. Blows down the hat and says. I meant says, that more in a 1940s newspaper way, where I'm the gal Friday and you're the hard-boiled news reporter, and I walk in in my 1940s <laughs> outfit and say, "We've got a lot of work to do, Mister, on this article. It her needs legs to be in the paper, <laughs> right?" Her, her legs would have kept on going if the floor hadn't stopped them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I had seven slugs in me. One was lead. The other six were bourbon. <laughs> Yes, way yeah. better than porn for sure. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, so that concludes another secret show. Thank you for being here for episode 188. Gosh, my hair's been in my face the whole time. Oh, uh, sorry, um, last, last but not least, hang on. Um, yes, yes, something uh, incoming. The best comedy song nomination, last one. Uh, it's Effin' Science Bro by BOB. Oh, yes. I mean, it, it, it's, I don't know if you listen to that song, but it was, it was a solid song. Uh, 
Okay, sorry. This has been really fun. I, I am very thankful to everybody who's been in the live chat participating because this award thing is, even if we're presenting them, it's not about us. It's about the Flat Earth community. And as anyone can tell by listening, we've nominated small channels. We collectively, not Mark and I, have nominated small channels, big channels, uh, channels that don't like us much, and channels that are our friends. So it's not some kind of in-crowd potatoes thing. Um, it's just a, a way to acknowledge all the good work the community has done. Yeah, my and yeah, a little bit of that in there too. Kumbaya. In the most wonderful way possible. Because everybody here is an honorary sweet potato. Honorary yeah. sweet potato, really? Yeah. Hmm. We're all potatoes. Nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Hashtag uh, Blockland. <laughs> all right. Um, do you have anything uh, else? So coming? we're going to put this uh, available. We can email it to you. So if you want this list, uh, the list of the categories, and want to look at it and then figure out what you think and then email it back to us, just email Mark Sargent, msargent23 at comcast.net, or message me at mistier at gmail.com. Sorry, I hit my mic. Did that go right through your ear? Do you know what that sounds like in these headphones? Trying to deafen you. Gong. Trying to break your will to live. Like, holy smokes. Auditorily first. What? Exactly. So if you want a copy of the list, not the people who've been nominated, but just the list we went through today, just message either one of us. You can get me on Facebook at Patricia Steer in Messenger, or like we just said, msargent23 at comcast.net or mistier at gmail.com and we will send you the list and you can go through it and write in your own, send it back to us. And we're just going to go through all this over the next couple of uh, weeks, I guess. And then uh, we're not going to probably tell you what we've come up with, right? Because that's for yep, the can't really. I mean, we could, yeah, yeah we're not good. We can't tell them that. Mom's the word. Right. right. So we'll mention it, but we're not going to openly talk about who we've, who who were the winners? Best mic hit, Patricia Steer. Nice. Exactly. <laughs> um, so that's the deal. Uh, so uh, Amanda uh, McLeod is going to be my guest who does these uh, really cool postcards that are available on Zazzle and many other things. She's a member of the TTCC, the Three Cat Club. And um, she's just a really cool person in Australia flat earther who needs more exposure for her channel and we'll be talking to her on flat earth and other hot potatoes on my next interview which is going to be friday anything you've got coming up mark oh, i've got another interview i don't know who with and then that could uh, be your answer every single time i ask I, honestly i don't even i don't i used to look but now i don't i realize i don't have to i can just say okay yeah i'll just i say yes to whatever interview it is and and um and just play it by ear because no one it's kind of fun being surprised. People have said, why does he do all these interviews with the same old stuff he says over and over again? Well, the interviews are on radio stations and uh, for newspapers or magazines or blogs. These are for people who've never heard about Flat Earth. Exactly. In fact, I, I used to hear, not to go off on a quick little tangent, I used to hear people, when you watch choreographed videos of somebody like, say, Britney Spears, Right. It's like, why yeah, does she do Why would you? But go ahead. Well, exactly. You know, whenever she's in concert, you know, they like do montage. It's like, why does she keep doing the same routine every time? It's like, look, that's what they do. You know, Taylor Swift does the same choreography every single show, but it's new to the people that have never seen it. So the people that follow her around, it's like, yeah, she does this and spins around. So look, there's only so many different ways. Look, I've done the last one I did was what, 130? I, most prolific interviewer would be me, and most prolific interviewee would be you. Just trying to get the word out, ma'am. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Again, phrasing. Anyway, uh, anything else? That's it. That's our uh, show. That's cool. a wrap. Till we meet again, Patricia Steer and Mark Sargent. And this has been The Secret Show on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. And keep it flat. <laughs>